Welcome to Scoop World Order. It is Monday night. It is National Championship Night, a game that Ohio State will be in next year because Ryan Day is taking no prisoners. He is firing people. He's bringing in the best roster in the nation. I'm very, very excited about it. We have a new superstar tailback who's going to be in the fold, uh, potentially with Trey Henderson, it looks like. And oh boy, what an offense we're going to have next year. So we're going to do that. We're going to get into some staff uh, movement. Perry Eliano was let go today. Uh, not surprising at all for anyone that's on Buckeye Scoop. Uh, and then there's more moves coming, so it's going to be very interesting to see who becomes the next head, the next head coach of the offense, the next offensive coordinator for Ryan Day. So uh, there's names out there. Coaches are getting let go in the NFL today, so the board is getting a little bit clearer. So we're going to talk about all that. We're going to take your questions, um, as always, and we appreciate you guys kicking with us. Again, this is our game watch party uh, for the national championship, so this is going to be a long one. So buckle up, get you a Red Bull, get you some popcorn. Uh, get you uh, some DoorDash, whatever you guys want to do, because we're going to be here for a long time. We're going to take all your questions. Appreciate you guys kicking it with us. If you guys have any questions, send us a super chat. We'll get those fired up. We'll be answering your questions all throughout the game. Questions on the direction of the team. Um, I'm very excited about what Ryan Day is doing. Very excited about what the foundation is doing with NIL, uh, retaining a lot of these kids, keeping these kids back for their senior years. Again, I think a few years ago, pre-NIL, a bunch of these guys would have jumped to the draft, but with NIL and the foundation stepping up and writing some big checks, a lot of these guys are back for their senior year, and Michigan is going to get hit with a nuclear bomb in March, so they're going to be a smoking hole, and we are going to be loaded for bear. So I'm very excited to see what it looks like with Will Howard and some of our new superstars we are going to have on offense. Uh, but I'm going to bring in my good friend, Nevada. Nevada, um, Keyshawn Judkins is a guy that... When he entered the portal, I thought there was next to no chance that we would get him. He, he reeked of a, you know, a Bama, Bama, Georgia, Florida, Oregon type kid. And I had a lot of good sources the last two days say he's in the bag. Uh, he is pillow talking with all the players right now. They're tweeting and sending googly eyes. Uh, I think this thing is done. And I think the thing that shocked me is when I talked to a great source in the Woody Hayes, I said, does that mean Trey's gone? And they said, no, actually, it means he's excited to play with him. Because, uh, again, you guys have to realize this season is about to get long. I mean, we're talking a 15-game season now. It's almost an NFL regular season. Uh, and that 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 gauntlet at the end, as Nevada talked about, Michigan, Big Ten Championship uh, is not going to be against Purdue anymore or Iowa. It's going to be against the number two team in the Big Ten, which is going to be Michigan, Oregon, Washington. Uh, it's going to be a real team. And then you start the playoffs. So it is going to be... You need as many war horses as you can get. And the thought of uh, having Kinshawn Judkins along with Trey Henderson in the same uh, running back room, uh, I don't even know what to speak of because that's so unbelievably uh, incredible because those guys are both, they're honestly the top two running backs in the entire country that are returning. Uh, but your thoughts on that, Nevada, uh, when that news kind of came over the wire late last night? Yeah, I mean, it's, crazy you know we've been talking about how good the 2024 Buckeyes are going to be and I think when we first started talking about it people were like oh well is this just being optimistic or whatever no and now you look at it and you gotta go this isn't being optimistic like we've been telling you guys like I've been hearing the kids are coming back and one by one everybody's coming back and now like you look at the portal and you're I mean you're, Will Howard absolutely humongous get uh mclaughlin absolutely the starting center for alabama and now you're talking about judkins running back who might be one of the top two running backs in the country i i mean it's crazy what ohio state is doing right now and you know again ryan day deserves the credit ryan day realizes 2024 the importance of 2024 and what he needs to do and that needs means you need to be ruthless in the portal you need to be ruthless in terms of with your coaches, you need to be ruthless with with NIL, and getting the foundation back involved was an underrated huge point. And as you said, mm -hmm. guys are coming back. And today, you know, small one. I know people aren't going to be you know, lining up on the streets and do it. But Ty Hamilton coming back today, to me, that's a big get. That's a yeah. big get on the interior it's line huge. right there. A guy that I really liked this year. I thought he really played well. He came up, you know, from being you know kind of almost not existent to being an impact player. Now, how good is it going to be next year? I think it's going to be terrific. And so, you know, for Ohio State to be returning everybody except for Marvin Harrison Jr. and Mike Hall on a team that was really, that was one play away from a national championship this year uh, is, is kind of crazy. And like I said, today today was a really good day for Ohio State. And I think we've got even better days ahead. And hopefully it all starts with uh, Michigan losing tonight 
um, because I know that none of us could even stomach the thought of watching them be happy. So uh, let's go Purple Rain. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think that, you know, th we were really excited about Will Howard jumping into the ship because I think the thing that Will Howard adds to this offense and to this team, I mean, he'll surely be a captain for us, is that he is an exceptionally tough football player. And that's something that, you know, I – I think our quarterbacks last year were okay. You know, they were young. They were first-year starters. But this kid is a horse, man. And again, I know we talk about it every week. We compare him to Josh Allen. People say, no way. But again, go look at Josh Allen's last year's stats in Wyoming. It was not some mythical, oh, my God, can't miss thing. You got to remember, like, the Browns took Baker Mayfield over this guy. Uh, Sam Darnold went over this guy. But you watch him last night when the Bills needed it the most to make the playoffs, they ran him. And he was a horse. And that's what we're going to do with Will Howard. Because I think Ryan, you know, you can't win in modern college football without a quarterback that can run. You really, you just can't. You know, and I think Ryan's figuring that out that we're basically been playing offense with one hand tied behind our back. And when it gets cold and windy and rainy and snowy, uh, running that, that quarterback is something you can't match. Because the, the Q power game, um, you can't defend it. There's not enough people in the box. There's not enough hats. And that's why, you know, teams that are really good, like the Buffalo Bills, uh, they ran it, you know, uh, their, their OC is a guy that would probably be the number one guy on my list. There's no chance we're going to get him now. Cause he's probably going to be a head coach, uh, Brady, uh, the kid from LSU, but he ran, uh, Allen a lot and he was exceptional. Uh, again, that's what, that's what this kid's going to be. And again, I like big, strong, physical, tough, like, cause that's what wins in November. Like you, you know, the team had to get bigger. They had to get stronger. So, you know, we got a new center in there. He's a big, tough guy, uh, really good player. Again, I watched him versus, uh, Stackhouse, who's the big guard, he's the big nose guard from Georgia, number 78. I watched that entire game yesterday, um, and he really did a good job on him. So, you know, I mean, people with short memories will remember the Michigan snaps, and he's got to get that fixed, but I think he has to really get uh, get going um, in terms of being a leader and building chemistry with Will Howard. Uh, Ravia Tube, thank you for the 10. Appreciate you. What's up with Eliano being the first guy being fired? It shouldn't have been Parker Fleming or Justin Fry instead. I think it's just schematics. I don't think that it's, you know, I mean, Perry's probably got a job lined up and they, you know, they had to let him go or whatever. Um, but I, I don't think that there's anything to the order of who gets fired. I think that, you know, Ryan's trying to let these guys go to the convention and interview and try to find jobs. And, you know, this is a, this is the hardest part about being a head coach. The hardest part about being a head coach at Ohio State is you got fire guys. And th these are people, your wife gets to know their wives and your kids get to know their kids. And, you know, this is a production based business. And frankly, like, I didn't think our safeties were that bad. I thought Josh Proctor did a good job. I think that we were snake bit losing Lathan Ransom and we forced Sonny Styles to play out of position, but you know, that's part of life. And uh, I think that, you know, Perry's a guy that, again, I don't sit in the staff room, so I don't know what the dissertation was between he and Tim Walton. Um, but I can imagine it, there was some, some sort of a friction there that led to this. And I also believe that, you know, it, it resembles, you know, Chris Ash when he took over in 2014 and, him and Kerry Combs uh, had wildly different views on how to coach uh, the back end, the corners. And, uh, you know, after working with him in spring, Chris Ash went to Urban and said, I don't want him to coach the corners anymore. I'm going to coach the whole back end, the whole secondary. And he's bringing one or two of his own guys. Uh, and Matt Giriani is his biggest guy. Uh, that's a guy that was a QC for a year. And then he went to, uh, he went to Tulsa with Kevin Wilson for about five minutes. And then he went to Indiana last year. And, you know, gun to my head, he's the guy that's going to get the job just because he defended us really well last year. And I think that if there's a way to impress Ryan Day, uh, defend his offense really well. You know, Indiana, that first game, we did not look very hot. We did not look like some juggernaut. Uh, and Indiana's got vastly inferior players. So that's a guy I'd watch. Um, again, James Laurinaitis is a guy that's dying to become a full-time coach. He'd be a werewolf on the recruiting path. I think he'd be a defensive heartline. He'd probably be better than Brian Hartline, honestly, because James... You know, and I think Brian is a great kid and he does a lot of good stuff, but James was better at everything than Brian. He's a better player, uh, everything. So, I mean, why would he not be, you know, more you know, involved as a, as a dynamic recruiter? He was a captain multiple times. He was an All-American three times. So I think James is, you know, you kind of let the werewolf out of the cage if you, if you finally insert him as a linebacker coach or even make him the special teams coordinator because James played special teams at a high level in college and in the NFL. So, you know, I think that, you know, whatever you got to do to get James on the road recruiting is the best thing to do. But uh, with Fleming and Justin Fry, um, I think Justin, you know, I'd be 
mildly surprised if he got let go. But again, I think that it's, it really comes down to who the OC is. I think the OC is going to have demands with Ryan, and he's going to say, you know, I want to bring my own line coach. I want to bring my own – basically anybody except for the receiver coach or the tight end coach. Keenan Bailey is Ryan Day's boy. Like, that is his buddy. He's not going to get let go. The two guys that are safe in that room are Hartline and Bailey. Uh, the other guys, you know, it's touch and go. And, like, for me, the weird thing with Tony Alford is he – I mean, he could potentially have the two best running backs in the country – and get whacked so that would be mildly crazy but kind of is what it is treasure the torah you're the absolute best my man thank you for the golden hundred as always you're the uh the absolute best if you ever come to town shoot me an email barton.145 at gmail i'd love to grab lunch with you uh but i appreciate your man kirk what's good family tonight is the night ready for washington to get this w i'm so thankful randy is going full steam ahead and going to do what's necessary for us to be super strong next year let's get it your brother torah Again, I appreciate your support of this channel. You're the absolute best, brother. Thank you for all your patronage and showing up every night. And also thank you to all of our regulars because you guys are always in here. You guys always get it cracking in here. So it's always a blast. Uh, so we appreciate you. Uh, Nevada, words for our brother, Tora. Yeah, I mean, lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever on us. Uh, anytime you're in town and uh, would love to meet you. And again, thanks so much for the support of, of uh of the channel this has been so much fun and, and your support has been uh, unwavering and and um so vital to it so appreciate it very much i totally agree um paul lewis is judkins coming for real oh, let me read the text exact text that i got last night because i was just like you know whatever and it was uh it was are we getting are we getting judkins and he said they are getting him. And I said, with Trey back, question mark. He said, yes. And I was like, wow. And that's from an impeccable source in the Woody Hayes. So, you know, again, could anything happen? You know, there's no, you only sit still in absolutes. But literally, this was a great source. And again, this kid, I think that guys like Trey Henderson, guys like him are businessmen. Uh, you know, they're starting to see the business of the NFL, especially at the running back position. Uh, the analytic gurus have killed that position to the point where guys don't get second contracts anymore. So, you know, these guys want to have some tread left on the tires when they get to the league. They don't want to have 350 carries or 300 carries. And, you know, in Ryan's offense, you know, they rotate a couple running backs, give them each 200 touches, uh, and then you're nice and fresh for the league. And I think that, you know, with that running quarterback, if you run the quarterback and it frees up that offense and that backside edge, I mean, there's going to be gaping holes. And I think our offensive line is going to be really good. I know that. I could be out on the island but on that, but these guys are all going to have a, another year in the system. I think Justin Fry is motivated. I think the center is a good player, you know, and I think you put, uh, you find, you just got to find the right tackle. I think that you're going to put Josh Fry at right guard, um, get Donnie back, Donnie Jackson. So, uh, and I apologize. If I say Donnie, that means Donnie Jackson. If I say JJ, that means Jeremiah Smith. Uh, someone in the comments said they didn't know the nickname, so I apologize. Um, but yeah, I think that this kid, he's in, and, you know, we had Will Howard and, Again, I've got a great story. This is not just, you know, jumping off the cliff. This is a real source because I didn't believe it. I mean, this is one where I was like, there's no way we're going to get the top two running backs, but it's, it's, it is what it is, man. Money talks. And, and, and again, Ryan Day is not screwing around this year. I promise you. Like, this is his Waterloo. This is his last stand. And he, he's loaded for bear. I mean, he doesn't care. He's not, he's not caring about your feelings. Um, he wants to get the best room, the best quarterback room, the best running back room. Uh, the best tight end room. I mean, he's added a tight end, uh, added a lineman. He's basically added people to every single room so far, uh, except receivers, because their receivers are so loaded. So, I mean, he is not playing around this year. Russ Atkins, thank you for the five. Is there anything to the Jason Taylor talk? Uh, does Perry take the whole secondary? I think you mean Tim Walton take the whole secondary now. Perry got whacked. Uh, there, what is the word on Alford? I mean, the Alford thing would be, supremely bizarre because if you get Trey to come back and you get Judkins and then you whack the position coach which could totally happen like I mean I I had a very good source I mean I've had com very conflicting reports on on Corey Dennis and Alford you know most people have Dennis out the door uh expiring contract um he, the new OC is going to take that spot Alford is a guy that you know I again man Trey's coming back and you know he played for Tony Tony recruited him but it's a cold world out there, man. This is a different world in college, college football. And, you know, if there's things behind the scenes that Ryan doesn't like or you have to sacrifice some spots on that coaching staff to get the OC that you want and let him make one or two hires, then so be it. Like I said, Ryan's not playing this year. Uh, the Jason Taylor stuff is interesting. 
Uh, he just reeks of being an NFL guy to me. I don't think he's a lot of these NFL guys. I mean, they don't want to work like these college guys do. You know, it's it's a tough gig out there. Um, yeah, but he's he's you know, he played at Akron and he's Pennsylvania guy, so he's at least familiar with here. But he was in Miami for you know ninety percent of his career, other than a couple years in Washington. So you know he's with the Hurricanes. I don't know. Um, I don't think that him and Mario Cristobal. I think they're kind of like oil and water, but. You know, he's coaching in the town that he loves, and you know, he's in the Hall of Fame and Ring of Honor for the Dolphins. So it'd be interesting. Um, but I don't know how good he is. You know, I mean, Miami just got ran over by Rutgers. So is he that good? I don't know. Uh, Nevada, Jason Taylor, uh, Tim Walton taking the whole secondary, and the word on Alford. Uh, any different thoughts on those? No, I, like I said, I think we're just going to kind of wait and see. Like I said, the Alford thing, you know, I've heard him stuff about linking him to Notre Dame. Um, and you just don't know if, uh, if, if, if this whole Judkinson kind of changes the calculus at all. And that, that that's hard to say. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of focused on my Washington trying to get a stop right now against Michigan. The second and three Michigan's seemingly able to run the ball pretty much at ease right now, which is what I was concerned about heading into this game. That Washington's got to find a way to stop that running game. Yeah, I mean, their defense stinks, so they're going to get – I mean, it's going to be Chuck City, and, and these guys don't play. Michigan does not play, so I'll put on the game cast. Um, what is the chant for the Huskies? It's going to be, here we go again, Nevada, the here we go. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> here we go. The, the, no, da, the Dak Prescott. It's, it's going to be purple rain. Purple I can't rain. believe that's that's their song. It's amazing. Yeah, Apollonia. Come on, Ap- yeah. Prime Apollonia, meow. Pri- meow. Prime on. Apollonia. What was that, like 1984? Yes. I can't Prime remember Apollonia. what it was. Prime Apollonia. I don't know. Yeah, Michigan's moving it right down the field right now. Just gotta, they, they just, Washington just needs to find a few stops. I'm telling you, Michigan is going to have a hard time stopping Washington, but I like you're right. I don't I don't think they can, they can stop. I think this is going to be like 35-31. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, ZZM, thank you for the 10. Hey, Kirk, I met Will Dudley. That was a blast from the past. Uh, when backing up, buying a backup second car, uh, works in Grove City. What can Washington do to slow Scum's running game? I mean, you got to dedicate a lot of guys to this because I think that's their weaknesses. They're just terrible um, up front and on on defense. And I think Michigan's going to try to. Ha- I mean, they're just going to hammer these guys. You know, that's kind of Michigan's mo. And you know, this is like one of those things where Styles make fights. And I think that you know Washington is. Uh, you know, this is going to be a tough one. They're going to have to score a lot of points against these guys because I don't think their defense can hold up at all. And, you know, Michigan's, you know, they're, they're a well-oiled machine on offense, and they, they believe in what they believe in, and, and they're good at it. Quinn Tucky, thank you for the five. Didn't Heartline flip an ATV and show up late after a country concert? Should Brian be looking for a job? Well, he did do those things, but I don't think that, you know, I think his – you know, his performance uh, as a recruiter, I think, is, you know, the thing that everybody gets caught up on. And, you know, it's it's going to be really interesting to see how he reacts to potentially getting demoted. Because, you know, the the biggest thing with Ryan is he wants to hire a true defensive or a true offensive head coach. Uh, you know, Brian was the coordinator in title, but he really didn't do much more than just being the wide receivers coach. So I, uh, I honestly don't know... Um, you know, I, I don't think Brian is going to be a guy that's ever going to be working. Because, like, you know, J.J. Smith came here because of Brian Hartline. So it's it's one of those deals where if you if you whack him, you lose J.J. And you'd lose a lot of inertia that you've got in the recruiting realm right now. But I just I don't think uh, you're ever going to move on Brian Hartline as long as he wants to be here. Unless, unless, you know, he wants to, you know, further his career. So, I mean, that's the only way you'd ever lose the guy. But he seems to love it here. He's done a great job here. His room is loaded. Um, so... You know, I mean, I think that he's he's here for the long haul. Oh, jeez. I think touchdown 7-0 seven, seven Michigan. There's Nevada's boy, Donovan Edwards. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, this thing could get ugly. Washington is deep. Uh, they're not, they're not, like I said, Washington's going to score. It's just like, like man, you got to get stops in that situation right there. Yeah. I mean, you run, you run right <laughs> into the line, and there's nobody, nobody can, just nobody wraps them up. I mean, this is this is look, this look, is look, so what a easy. Run by Edwards. Look at that. Just runs yeah, right look at seven. Thing. Look at seven's run fit. Jesus Christ, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, well, that's. I mean, we knew their defense wasn't good, so this, there's no surprise to that. But yeah, it's going to be. Uh, you know, but these guys can score. They've got great wide receivers. Uh, but the big blue is on the board. Seven nothing. So it's kind of weird that this game's in Houston. I mean, it doesn't really make any sense to me that it's in Houston, but. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's no, there's basically no college football presence there, but that's where the game is. 
Um, so yeah, this is going to be a big drive for Washington coming up this first drive. See what these guys are all about. Um, yeah, I, I think that this is going to be a this is going to be a very interesting week because I think that you know, Ryan wants to get these changes done. Um, you know, there's that awkwardness right now where there's some kids that showed up and their coach got fired literally like the second day they were there. So welcome to college football, and there's going to be more guys getting fired. So, um, you know, I think it's going to be uh it's going to be really interesting. Well, you've got we've got a potential five star commit on Wednesday. Um, like you said, we've got transfer portal action. We've got coaching action. We've got returning player action. I mean, uh, it, it, it's, it's amazing how much stuff is going to happen in the next, you know, three, four, five, six days. It's going to set the, you know, establish the trajectory, you know, firmly for 2024. And, uh, you know, like right now, everything I'm hearing is positive, everything. Like I, there's nothing that I'm hearing that's, if there was, I'd tell you, I'd be like, well, it, everything's good except this. But right now, everything's positive, and um, it's hard its hard not to be excited about 2024 when this – I mean, if, if we'd have lost nine guys to the NFL draft, there's no way we'd sit here and spin it any different. It'd be like, hey, yeah. you, you lose oh, guys. Terrible. That's, that's just, it just is what it is. But, like, when guys are returning, it just – you know, it, it – one, it just speaks to the culture of the team, and that yeah. was something that was in question. People were questioning, you know, had Ryan Day lost the program – the, the, after the loss to Missouri or people like, oh, we can't win, we leave. And we're like, no, I'm like, no, that's not how it works. And, um, yeah, I mean, everything's happening pretty much according to form right now. They, I, I'm almost afraid to say that because there have been very few surprises so far, and it's all been positive stuff. So, you know, I'm, I mean, I, I'm excited. You know. Yeah, I agree. I think that there's – um there's a lot of good energy around the program. I think we've got a lot of guys that are going to be uh, back that wouldn't have been back uh, in the olden days, pre NIL. And, and again, like, you know, I, get, I tell people, you got to understand with NIL, it's uh, it, people hate it, but man, a lot of these guys are staying because they got some money to stay. They got a little, little chunk, little change. They go buy an insurance policy, take care of themselves, you know? So it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. There you go. Gunner Bennett, Scoop Ultra member. I got to throw this on the board. If you guys are Scoop Ultra members, uh, really good chance your comments are coming up on the board. Donovan Edwards is trash. I agree. I, I think that that was, that was easy mode. The safety just had a terrible run fit. Um, but yeah, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be interesting. Well, did you see, did, did you see the run? Look, he runs right into the line. Look at him. Look, yeah. I mean, look at there's huge holes on either side and he runs right into the back of his guys and just happens to pop off. And it's like, I mean, that was yeah. literally one of the worst reads I've ever seen a running back do. And he, and he ends up running out the back. Oh, Donovan Edwards. Like, that run was terrible. Well, yeah, and, and seven, the safety, didn't fit the, the run right. So, you know, it was, was kind of like Sonny. Like, when Sonny didn't fit the run right, and all of a sudden he's off to the races, like, that's it's more about what the defense did than what the player did. Yeah, um, crazy. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, but this is going to be big for Panics. Their one receiver is awesome. Romeo, Romeo, whatever his name is, he's really good. It's uh, amazing. Say, yeah, that yeah. guy's really good. He's yeah, really, good. really good. It's amazing. Penix has been playing since 2018. Like that's crazy, and that's a long time, dude. These six-year guys, it's like I couldn't imagine how good he'd be as a six-year player. But you know, he's the guy that probably should have won the Heisman, in my opinion. It's like you know when you're playing at this level, and you know, we'll see how he does on this first drive. See how Michigan's back in because we threw on Michigan. So I mean, these guys got a pretty nasty uh, passing attack. I'll toss the game chat or the yeah, game feedback on here. Yeah, this is a big one. B big one, big uh, so many different runs. Yeah. There's about eight, six, seven. Take that. Yeah. J Joe Horn, appreciate you. Thanks for the five. Why were we having so much trouble recruiting offensive linemen? Did we need to change coach or the off for the offensive line? No, I, I think that part of it is that I all I think part of it is that we live in the north where there's just not as many big guys. Um, it's always kind of been like that, but I think that, you know, we got some, we have a talented room again, people think I'm crazy, but I, I mean, I've seen way less talented rooms than the one we've got this year, uh, do great things at Ohio state. And, you know, Justin Fry's going to coach these guys up. I think there has to be a little bit of a culture change in that room. I think the guys got to get a little more nasty, uh, play a little bit harder. They really got to work on their combination blocks. Um, but there's a lot of raw talent in that room. Jimmy Simmons is a really good player. Um, 
you know, so I, I think that, you know, can we recruit better players? Of course. But, you know, Ryan Day's got to get involved in that. You know, I think a lot of times, you know, when we had Ed Warner and Greg Studewire, like if you're a five-star kid, the head coach has to kind of recruit you. Like Paris Johnson, I mean, I, I mean, you know, Stud was involved in that. But, you know, when you're a superstar, the head coach better be right in the middle of that. And I don't know if Ryan does a good enough job with that with the O-line. He does it with the skill guys, the quarterbacks. But, you know, when you're Urban Meyer, I mean, you better be – you know, all over some of these uh, these superstars because Nick Saban is the lead recruiter on a lot of the five star guys, um, and I think that that's something that we need to get better at. Um, but I like our line class. I like our our room. We just got Alabama starting center, so in most universes, people would be thrilled about that. Except for you know, they watched him have bad snaps versus Michigan, but he's a good player. Again, I watched his entire game versus Georgia, um, and he really did a nice job. And he's playing a really good player. Stackhouse. He's number seventy eight. He's second team all uh, SEC. Um, and he, he really did a good job against him. Um, he really didn't have any bad snaps in that game. So, you know, again, like it, I think that he had a couple snafus versus Michigan, but you know, he's been pretty consistent outside of that. Yeah, this is a uh, Nevada. How excited are you to see Will Howard scramble next year? I mean, I don't, I don't want, know what to say. I mean, when it happens, oh. like, I mean, it's, it's been so long. I mean, we've talked about it. It's been three years. I guess it's been four years because three years of zeros since we've had a rushing court touchdown from our QB one. So I don't know what I'm going to do when, when, when he runs in the end zone, but which he will inevitably do next year. Uh, like I said, I'm just even scrambling for a first down. I may get tears in my eyes and break down a little bit, get a little teary thinking about it. Yeah. I mean, if we run some read stuff with, with him and with, uh, there you go. Nice play receiver. You run some read stuff with him and Trey and Judkins, man, that's going to be nasty. And again, in the cold weather, man, or in bad weather, that running quarterback is the absolute difference maker. You know, like I, you know, like I said, I watched Josh Allen yesterday versus the Dolphins, and Josh Allen's three hundred million dollar guy, and they ran him. They weren't scared. Um, well, he's, uh, I mean, biggest plays of the season, like biggest when they needed it the most. That's yeah. exactly where the, where they went. It was a it was a yeah. Josh Allen run, and there was no doubt about what they were going to do, and they did it. And that's what you got it. That's what everybody does, except for us. Yeah. Exactly, um, and it's a. Uh, it's really, uh, it's really good stuff. Um, keep the questions coming. If you guys have questions, toss those super chats in here. Uh, let me see. Uh, Jack Collins, thanks for the deuce. Appreciate you, my man. Do you think Day hires Ryan Grubb if UW wins? I mean, he's a guy that I've thought of. Um, I feel like Ryan might want to be want, want, want to search the NFL ranks right now. Um, but I, again, it's. It's hard to tell because you don't really know who's going to be available until you know about another three, four days as the coaches get fired, people move on, people start to get jobs, um, and that's going to be something that's going to be really interesting to watch because you know you might be interviewing somebody and you might be all in on them, but then he might get a raise. You know, like Urban Meyer really wanted Chad Morris in 2012, and then Clemson gave a huge raise to be their OC, and we ended up with Tom Herman, and again we won a national championship, and all was good. But you know, sometimes teams step up and they want to keep their guys and. And that happens. So there's going to be a lot of names bannered about. Um, it was funny because when I, you know, when I was uh, working at the Woody, I remember Paul Petrino, Bobby's brother, was a guy that Urban interviewed for uh, the quarterback coaching job, the OC job. Um, he had Harry Heastan come in. He interviewed him. Uh, he interviewed Ed. Uh, so that was all of December um, before he announced his staff in January. And there was just like a revolving door of coaches sending their resumes. Trooper Taylor's resume came. Jay Paterno's resume came. It was, uh, and they didn't all get interviews, but now is the time where Ryan Day's inbox and his mailbox at the Woody is getting flooded with resumes, people that want that job. Uh, Joe Ham, thanks for the deuce running back from the transfer portal. Commit to us. I mean, it's, I mean, I, I was told last night he's coming here. So, yeah, you know, again, if something changed in the last 24 hours, but, you know, I, and I, I'm as surprised as anybody because this is one of those ones where, you know, does that mean Trey's gone? And he said, no, I mean, Trey's back. And these guys want to be a duo and a tandem. And, you know, I think that Dallin Hayden might be a little bit upset by that. But, you know, you got to remember in, in these long seasons, man, we burn through running backs. Running backs get hurt at a crazy rate. Like you look at where we've been at when we played Michigan a couple of years ago and we're starting Chip Trainum and, Dallin Hayden and Trey's down and mine's down and you know you need as many good running backs as you can get because they get beat up they get hurt so I'm all in on getting two elite blue chip running backs and that's what we're going to have next year uh, and that's exceptional um for us 
Austin Spears, thank you uh, for being a Scoop Ultra member. Appreciate you, my man. Uh, appreciate you guys and all the insight. Who is potentially the five-star committing Wednesday? Uh, is it that D-end or is it the quarterback? I think it's the D-end. Uh, the yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a 2025. So, again, like I – we don't do a ton of recruiting stuff just because when it's like a 25 – if he's a 24, I'd be excited because he'd be signing in a month. But these kids, man, they – commit and they flip and they get an IL deal and I don't know Nevada like we've we've pivoted more towards straight inside information straight goods uh bringing you guys like the heat uh because that's stuff I think is just way more exciting and you know the whims of these kids can change in a heartbeat that's why crystal balls are basically irrelevant recruiting guys are basically the way of the dodo they're completely extinct um because everything can change but I'm excited about the kid I mean it's excited he picked us but you know he's got a whole you know, 10 months to, to hang in there before he signs with us. But uh, your thoughts on that, Nevada, just kind of the, the recruiting game as it is today. Yeah, it's just, like I said, we're still we're still going to cover it. We still cover it. We still have, you know, invested resources in it. We still have Bill Green who does it. Um, and we'll still talk about it. But like you said, you know, most people that are have some common sense look at this stuff and just realize how quickly it can all change. And, um but no, Wednesday could be a good day. Potential five star um, committing to Ohio State, and that's uh, I mean that that's never a bad thing. And I know Ohio State's excited about it, and you know, it's better to have the commitment than not. So hey, you got got to start with something, and I think it starts on starts on Wednesday. Yeah, I totally agree. I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see you know how the, the class shapes up again. You know, everyone wants to hit us with the Larry Johnson retiring rumors. I just, I don't really care. I don't really believe it because Larry's got a loaded room. He's making a lot of money. And I just think that he's a lifer and he wants to, to keep coaching. Like, he doesn't have a tough job. A nice play by Washington. I love the thing about Washington's receivers, they really block. You know, and again, I've been kind of up the behind of Ohio Six. Our guys don't really block, but watch these receivers right here. I mean, that's like textbook, literally. Textbook. You know, and on a little bubble screen, that's a nice, easy throw, catch. Um, you know, I love it. I mean, Washington's got a great scheme. They just got a really logical scheme. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I uh, would like to see Penix run with that one right there. Michael, that's, yeah, yeah. Go that's that one free, where you... Go, go get that free money, dude. Go get... Yeah, he comes around the corner. I mean, look at this. It's like... Yeah, like go, go, just go run, go get seven yeah, yards, just, get just go run. Right, yeah, exactly. I mean that that would have been that was the play. Yeah, Larry Daniels, uh, Scoop Ultra member, appreciate you, brother. What happened uh, to Mayan this year? Uh, I just dinged up. Uh, then he declared for the draft, which was mildly shocking. You know, again, we had a lot of transition in the running back room with Chip leaving, with Evan Pryor leaving, with Mayan leaving. I think that it's, uh, I think it's one of those things. Um, maybe they were told that we're going to upgrade that room, but it sure seems like it. That's a, that's 15. They didn't throw a flag on that. No. I mean, yeah, that's, am I, am I crazy? I mean, no, I mean, <laughs> it looked like, it looked like it was, but again, look at this play. This play just nice and easy. Hit yeah. The like edge. Two guys have to make a block and you get nine yards. Yeah. But, yeah. But see, he froze eight with that, that zone read action that hold yeah. you know like he's gonna see how eight kind of froze right there yeah. and it's like that's because you've got a legitimate threat there according to, yeah he tackles him six yards out of bounds that was three i mean he's all the way in the way he's, he's through the light into the green yeah you know we got trips into the here we go there's a nice little first down i love their scheme their scheme's nice man yeah um, kind of went went fast man on short yardage just go fast tom herman tom herman for people I know Tom's an interesting character and this and that and everything like that. But man, offense is an offensive savant. The guy who understands offensive football. I there's very few people I I hold in higher esteem than Tom Herman. This running back looks dinged up. He doesn't look like he has any burst. Um, uh, Paul Lewis, thanks for the ten. Appreciate you, brother. How many times does Bama? That's a great question. Have uh, double elite backs. I mean, God, man, when we played him, that Yeldon and uh, that Yeldon and Derrick Henry. So, I mean, that's two. That's a second rounder and a Heisman winner. Um, they had Ingram and Trent Richardson. You know, that one on the one team that Camara too is like the fifth string running back, which is insane. 
But I, I just think that you have to have two good running backs. I mean, Michigan has two good running backs. I don't think they're great. I don't think they're as good as Trey, but you know, they run them both. And yeah, I think that, you know, as the season gets longer, you got to keep it fresh. Uh, is that another? I mean, they're like hitting these guys late out of bounds. You got to throw this here, man. You got to find Romeo. You think they kick it or you think they go for it? What? On, on, the, on fourth down? Yeah. Well, it depends on how far they are away. You know what I'm saying? They gotta, if they get it inside the five, they'll go. If it's outside the five, they'll kick. Yeah. What do you guys think in the chat? Are they going to go for it or are they going to kick it? Third and goal. I think you got to go for it here. Well, it's a third, third, yeah, third goal. What? Yes, don't quick, don't. Trestle would quick kick right now down. Try to put him uh, in the coffin court. He'd, he'd punt him. He'd punt it down. He'd the punt. Six. He'd, he'd punt, punt right now. Put on the seven yard line. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> try to pin him deep, man. Pin him deep. Play some defense. Yeah. Yeah, I just. You know, Michigan is just so unlikable, and I, I just, oh man, I, I just hope they lose. I, I hope, I hope Washington comes out, plays fearlessly. I mean, you know, the board's been that way. That he's he's called it that that way the entire season. I've watched them play you know, nine times this year, and I just hope they keep that up and and keep attacking Michigan ferociously because that, that's how you get that's how you beat these guys. Yeah, I totally agree. I think this is one where you know they gotta they gotta get some points on the board, but. Man, it'd be nice to stick it in here. I think yeah, that receiver, a, you man. Yeah, you can't get a field goal. You got You got to get a touchdown. Do you think Marvin was the most underutilized guy in Ohio State history in the red zone? Because I, I just, I always felt like we never threw him a fade, like from the five yard line. It was like, it was like against our religion or something. It was crazy. What was our strategy in the red zone? Put like put G Scott and Luke Montgomery. And Cade Stover and like put like seven, uh, nine offensive linemen in, run it right up the middle and get stuffed. Like that's yeah, because we, did. we didn't because we didn't run the quarterback. No, we didn't throw it. We didn't throw it to Marvin. I'm just not sure what what did we do in the red zone. Nothing. It was it was brutal. Uh, Larry Daniels, thanks for the deuce. RPO uh, Penix to the end zone. I like that. I think the RPO. I mean, the RPO game is is so hard to stop. You know, you're watching. I mean, even in the NFL, they run it like crazy. You know, they're good at it. I mean, that's like something that I just don't think we utilize enough. I mean, there's some really good uh, play calls yesterday. Um, I like when you have an athletic quarterback, I like getting them out on the edge. Let him, uh, you know, kind of set the edge. Just kind of get uh, him a run, that little run pass option. Uh, see if you can get a guy to break free. Um, I think when you've got a stationary guy, it's uh, it's pretty tough. I think, but I think you gotta you gotta go get some points here, man. I mean, I just think that this, you know, if you get on fourteen three, the way Michigan ran the ball, like it's gonna be a long night. But yeah, are, are you kicking? Are you are you kicking a field goal here? You kicking a field goal? Oh, it goes no, it, it, it there's there's no there's no way I kick a field goal. So you got to score points. You know. Well, well, field goals points. You're you're saying any points, or you're saying you need to touchdown. I I need the touchdown. Yeah. No. You I, I, I that's I, how I, I call that, it. I, I, I think it's a, going to be a touchdown kind of game, and I think you got to, you've got two plays to make seven yards, and you got to play it that way. You don't play it as one play and then a field goal. You, I think you play it two plays to get seven yards, attack it that way, or eight yards, or whatever the heck it is. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Austin, thanks for the ten. What do you guys do for your other jobs? This is it, bro. We are podcasters and we are message boarders and insiders. So this is my full time gig, and I treat it like that, and it's become an absolute blast to do. Um, and Nevada has been retired for about 40 years. So he's, he's <laughs> hot, hot hockey dad, hockey dad, hockey dad, or driving yeah. the minivan, driving the sprinter, uh, around. drive the sprinter yeah. around the country, watching hockey. Yeah. Uh, come on, Quebec, Edmonton. Oh, man. Come on, Penix. We need to score. We need one time for the one time. Oh, boy, he had him too. Just, just high. Yeah, now they're kicking the field goal. Wow. Was it open for him to run? I'd like to see this back oh. view here. What? Yeah, it looked like it was. It looked like the Red Sea parted right in front of him. I mean, that's what I'm, I'm wondering. It's like, 
I mean, they've got a, an odd look. They're probably spying somebody. I bet they're spying somebody on them if they're running an odd front. I mean, I just run cute yeah. draw here. I mean, you've yeah. got you've got a f like a four man box and you've got seven blockers. Like I just run cute draw, I'd be over. Oh, oh, like right there. Man, oh, snuck that. that one. Snuck that one in. Woo. man, that was a. Uh... That couldn't have been closer. That was, oof! Wow, woof! Yeah, well, we'll yeah, we'll take it. I mean, look at this thing. This thing just goes, woof. Okay. Now well, it could uh, have been worse. Oh, absolutely. Boy, that kick, that kicker's got an interesting face, doesn't he? What, what, what happened to that guy's face? Jeez. Yeah, that's bad. Oof. That's bad, bad. Woof. Yeah, Man, that was hard. That was that was hard to look at right there. He looks like uh, Buzz from Home Alone. <laughs> the, the, the bad brother joe yes. ham thanks for the five appreciate you my man does nfl coaches have problems translating to college because of recruiting etc i don't think so i think i'm sure there's a little bit of a shell-shocked element if you come and you've never been a part of college but you know a lot of these guys they bounce back and forth between you know, if they want to if they have ambition to be pro coaches they go up to the pros they come back down to college it really depends on what your best opportunities are so um i think you do, you got to do whatever you got to do to feed your family you know so i think that these guys would jump into it um but I, I think that the biggest thing is like just getting the, the, the schematics correct and you know ryan's got to find a guy that he really trusts to run the offense like i think that's the most important part of this entire uh deal um this is a, this is a great question the most important part of the deal is getting the offense uh out of ryan's hands and getting someone else in there this is great rich is where thanks for the five i'm in kirk rpo is so hard to stop kyle mccord hold my beer i know exactly what play you're talking about um, that was the one where we had a terrible route on. Will Johnson was inside leverage man. He's staring red at Kyle's eyes. Kyle made a terrible throw. And Marvin ran a terrible route. Like, Marvin jogged that slant. And then if you guys go back and watch it, like, Marvin quit on the play. And I know that he's the greatest player in the history of mankind and all. But, like, dude, you're playing Michigan. Like, at least try to go tackle Will Johnson. He just stood there and watched him run the other way. And I was like, it's probably why we lose. Because all those little plays add up. You know, and again, the truth hurts. And... You guys tuned in for the truth, but Marvin quit on that play and he's our best player. So that permeates throughout the organization when that is allowed to happen. Cause he should have been, since he was the reason that the interception happened, he should have been hauling to go get the guy on the ground. Uh, Cause Will Johnson ran into a pile of our offensive linemen and then he came out of the other end and then he tripped or else he had ran it in for a touchdown. But you know, Kyle, um, I'm glad that he's thrown his last pass at Ohio state. I'm not going to cut off the top rope on the kid, but I didn't enjoy watching him at all. Uh, Dan Mullen for OC is something I've been hearing a ton. Um, I just, you know, I mean, with what, if Dan ran Florida's offense and what he did at Mississippi state with Dak Prescott, I think it'd be a fantastic hire. Now, um, is it realistic? Does he want to be an OC for Ryan day? Uh, are they oil and water? I don't know. I know urban Meyer thinks the world of Dan Mullen. Dan Mullen is a guy, um, that kind of shocked me. Uh, that he failed so miserably at Florida. I thought he'd really do a good job with the Gators, and he didn't. Um, but I don't know. So uh, it'd be interesting. Gunner, let me know, my man. Send me an email, barton.145 at gmail. Uh, let's do a live. That'd be fun. Uh, congrats on 95,000 subs. It is a fist fight to get subs. So I appreciate you, brother. Uh, Jack Hollis, we get this a lot. How do you become a Scoop Ultra member? Well, you go, um, Nevada, do you want to explain this, or do you want me to kind of hodgepodge it? We have to find the the little uh join gut yeah just get yeah go to the uh the youtube page for buckeye scoop just youtube i, I think it's youtube.com backslash buckeye scoop and then there'll be a little button there that just says join and it's hit join and all, all the money from joining buckeye scoop ultra all the money from our super chats goes to our pay it forward fund so if you do that support pay it forward help us support our our, our military members our first responders that's what you do. So hit uh, join on that um, on the Buckeye Scoop YouTube page, and that'll take you right there. And it, nice and easy to do. And we appreciate all of our uh, all of our Ultra members. We're going to do some exclusive film breakdowns uh, for yeah. our Ultra members, and and that'll that'll be good. You know, we're trying to do some stuff that we can get away. The, the whole question with YouTube is what you can get away with and not you know break copyright stuff. And um, you know, we're going to try to do some stuff where the Ultra members get a chance to um have like a private showing of that stuff and we'll break down some film 
and uh, go into some depth about the OSU offense and what we expect to see in 2024 and what we expect to see out of Will Howard. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, the Ohio State State of Mind, thanks for the five. Appreciate you, brother. Who's Fry's GA at the moment? Who's helping coach your line? Uh, is Mike Solini, but his time is up. He's been here for two years. Um, you get a two-year term as a GA, and then you have to move on. Uh, so I don't believe he'll be back. So I'm sure they're searching for a new GA. Um, and they'll probably announce that, I'm sure, in the next week or two. Because, you know, you got to get your staff set up before uh, before it all happens. See, this this is something that wouldn't surprise me. Um, if, if, if Zach said that Ryan hates Dan Mullen, he'd know. He knows Mullen way better than I do. He knows um, Ryan pretty well. So, I mean, again, some of the things that would seem obvious, I don't think... Uh, you know, like there's there's always kind of that searching the old coaching tree, figuring out who would be the best the best guy. And also, you know, does Chip Kelly know anybody? Because that's the thing you have to remember is like Urban Meyer never had any idea who Tom Herman was until he asked Chip Kelly who, you know, who are some guys I should consider for offensive coordinator. And so when Chad Morris got a big race to say at Clemson, Chip's like, well, this Tom Herman guy is really good. He comes out to visit with me at Oregon. Clint, you know, we clinic, we do all this stuff. Um, I, I really like him. He's sharp. You should interview him. So Urban interviewed him. And I literally remember when Tom was getting interviewed, I was in, I was in the room. I mean, I wasn't in the room during the interview, but I was like a gopher, you know, I was there, Hey, you need anything coach, whatever. Um, and he aced it and he got the job. So, you know, again, it was, it was a wild time, uh, in there. I had to go to my laptop to join scoop ultra. Yeah. I, I looked it up on my laptop. It's literally, if you go to YouTube and type in Buckeye Scoop and click on our little logo, um, you'll see our kind of our front page and you'll see a little join button. Um, and that's how you oh join my Scoop God. Ultra. Did Edwards go again? That's just freaking crazy. I mean, mm -hmm. Washington's defense is so bad right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They're terrible. This is a, this is exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. Yeah. Is that Washington wouldn't be able to stop the run? That was that was the big question: is can they find a way to stop the run? And they just have not been able to do it. No, yeah, that's why I was like, yeah, going down fourteen to three was the disaster scenario for these guys because you know they don't see this kind of football in in the Pac twelve. They'll see it next year, but they don't see it in the Pac twelve. Yeah, I wonder, sh sh should we flip over to, like, the Rambo Marathon on, like, TNT or something like that and just no, this, watch this, that or something? Like I mean, that? If, if it's, like, 28-3 at half, man, we're going to be going to bed and cutting it off and <laughs> exactly. praying, praying, that, praying, that we could, praying that we could wake up the next day and act like none of this ever happened. But, oh, you know, God. I mean, Michigan's, you know, they again, like, Nevada, you take any solace, there's no moral victories in life. There's no moral victories at Ohio State. But, you know, if these guys get blown out, which is, it looks like we're on the fast track to that. Um, and all of a sudden, you know, Ohio State's throwing at the end zone at the end of the game. Do you take any solace that we're close to being the national champions or is it everything just a total failure? Like these guys can't line up against us. They can't line no, up. They can't it, even get down. Yeah, everything's a total failure. You know, life, Jesus. you know, it's about, life's, life's about getting it done, not about being close to getting it done. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. in sports has got a story about how they were close and, you know, either, you know, What's Yoda say? There's 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 no there try. There's only do, and yeah. uh, do or do not. And you know, I I think for Ohio State, look, our 2023 is over. I don't think this game's over yet. I think Washington, you know, Washington can come down now. And see, if Washington comes down and scores a touchdown on this drive, makes it. I've, I've seen too many games, you know, turn on a on a play or a, a thing, and you know, stuff can happen. But they got to find a way to stop the run. And the problem is when they when they commit eight or nine to stop the run. The McCarthy hits those you know, crossing routes for those passes of the tight end. So they've got a tall order, but they got they, you know, DeMore's a good coach. You'll you gotta figure it out. But this drive, um, obviously understatement of the year, this drive's huge. Yeah. Uh Cole, thanks for the buck. Uh, if you have a question, throw that in the super chat. Charles the Hammer. Um, I despise everything about the Cheetahs up north. I do too. Their fans are ugly uniforms, the team uh, that have Mount Doth. Love you guys. I do too, man. It's this is gonna be a hard watch, but you know, Harbaugh's gone. I mean, there's no way he's he's going to stick around. And these guys are going to get hammered in March. So this is all going to get vacated, which will be exceptionally sweet for us. Uh, John Gerwig, thanks to the five. When you think Harbaugh will be gone, also love your support of the military, retired Marine. Oorah. I love the Marines. They're the best. The baddest dudes on earth. Appreciate you, John. Um, You know, I think Harbaugh's gone this week. I think he's uh, – Nevada, you said Chargers. You know, obviously, the Chargers and Raiders make a ton of sense. Go, boy. 
Good slide. And he yeah, hits the, him like the, as he the, slides. The, the, Charger, which is hilarious. Yeah, the Chargers, you know, we talked about that at the time. You could have gotten really good odds on the Harbaugh to the Chargers. Now that's a pretty short odds. But at the time, you could have made some money on that. And like I said, my information, that's pretty good. So I, I think the Chargers and him, is, it's a done deal. I think the Chargers are a great job. I mean, you got Bosa, you got Herbert. Herbert's got a long term deal, got a good left tackle, good receivers. I mean, that's that's a great job. Michigan's just more physical than these guys. I like that play though. The left tackle from Washington is such a douchebag. It drives me crazy. Like he like rolls his shirt up and then he like cuts his pants so he, like his knees are totally exposed. Like he's just such a douchebag. You know. And he's not good, which makes it worse. Fifty five. Like, <laughs> dude, get rid of your hand towel. You're you're a left tackle, dude. No one you don't need to dry your hands. Cool. You know, the only guy that should have a hand towel is, is the center, period. Come come on, Penix. Well, oh, get up the field. Get up the field. No, oh, that's not getting up the field. Yeah, that was that's a big play. I'm just stretch the ball out. I am fake punting right now. If it goes out twenty one three, this might be the shortest watch party I've ever seen. <laughs> well, you know, hey, it, it's it's a watch party. You can say watch the whole thing party. We're just we're watching it as much as we can. Oh, God. And then, you know, come on, Washington. How about a fumble? Like anything? Yeah, anything. We'll we'll take anything. Yeah. Well, hey, like I said, we've all been in these games before where we're like in complete command and then one bad play goes the other way and things turn around. So um, let's, let's hope for that to happen. Uh, yeah, because I, 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 I can, I'm just going to warn people, I'm not going to be staying to the end to watch like the confetti drop and watch Michigan get in no. the thing or something like that. That that ain't that ain't happening. So we're uh, no, there's uh, no power on earth that could get me to stay to watch that long. Yeah, it's like Madden. Like the you know, you get the Madden where you're down like twenty eight nothing and you gotta hand over the sticks. Like I yeah, mean they might get Madden. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Donovan Edwards is like a hundred yards rushing already. Your boy. Yeah. Two carries for eighty seven yards and two touchdowns. Oh my gosh. I think he just got another one. They just scored another one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is precisely what, this is our biggest nightmares that, that Washington just can't stop the run and they just can't stop the run know. right now. And I gap on, it, man. It, it makes you wonder about Texas though, doesn't it? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, I mean it looks like Bam is the number two team in the country right now or us. I, I mean, we were. I mean, we, we were I mean, stopping I, these guys. I, I, I mean, Texas Texas whipped Bama at Bama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, it just, yeah, it shows you how close we were. Um, but, you know, close doesn't get you there. But, yeah, now, right now, I mean, they're just, <laughs> they're just <laughs> running. They're, I think they're averaging, what are, they, what are they averaging per carry right now? So, oh, just like, what do they have, like, about, about 10 it's yards a like, carry? Like, got, let me see. It's got to be higher than that, even. 19 yards a carry. <laughs> they have nine carries for 174 yards <laughs> i mean that's that is absolutely insane yeah i mean that that is absolutely insane jesus criminy yeah yeah it's wow. pretty wild jesus wow yeah uh, we love you guys but if, if this thing goes like 35 three and a half we're out Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's there's no doubt about that. Yeah. Sean Rollins, thanks for the five. Uh Corum catching up on to his lawyer to check the LLCs. Yeah, the, the Connor Stallions use vacuum thing or whatever. That was always a that's an interesting way to launder money from the donors. So what else would you be in the use vacuum business? Like vacuums aren't really that expensive. Yeah, Corum has got four carries for seventy three. Edwards has two for eighty seven. Yeah. Yeah, McCarthy has one for minus four. So this is going to be a long night. They don't have to throw the ball <laughs> at this point. Well, that's I mean, the I, thing. I mean, like, when you can move it and you don't and you don't have to throw it, then you've just you've eliminated so many things that can go wrong in so many different ways. I mean, it's just it's virtually impossible for the other team to get back in the game 
if if you can run it at, at, at anywhere near that type of clip. I'll tell you what, man. They're on pace for 900 yards of offense. So I don't know what we gave up, but it wasn't 900 yards. Yeah, yeah that that would be uh that would be kind of insane. Well, the thing that stings is like, what if we would have made the playoffs and played like this team? I think we could have beat Bama. You know, like God bless. You know, we were like so close to being to it all being ours. Do you think if Michigan wins the Natty, it will fire the Buckeye players up for next year? I think so. I mean, I'd be. Like, guys, like, this should have been us. It's kind of like last year when, you know, we had Georgia beat and we lost. And, you know, that – that we had two straight years of national championships should have been us. Like, I mean, you know, Washington's a nice team, you know, and, but they're not physical at all, obviously. And I think we would have matched up really well against these guys. I think we could have ran the ball on them. I think we could have thrown the ball on them. I'm excited to see us with Will Howard, though. When we get Will Howard, oh, boy, I just can't wait because that's going to be – you know, all of a sudden it's going to be – you know, we can run the ball, run Trey, run Judkins. Like, that's going to be fantastic. Like, you know, we, we lost 30 to 24. We gave up 156 yards on 39 carries. So they averaged four yards a carry against us. You know, and, and I mean, so we, I think, I mean, we did not gain it, but it was close. We had 370 of offense. They had 332. So again, like everybody wants to say the sky's falling and the program sucks. Like, you know, we're playing these guys way better than Washington is. You know, I think we played them better than Alabama did. But, you know, again, when you come up short and we came up short, that's all everyone remembers. There's a stop for only like four yards. So that's huge. Great job. Yeah, I mean, look, the reality is our season's over. I mean, let's let's just be real. No matter what happens, our season's already over. So whether Washington wins the national championship or whether Michigan wins the national championship, we're on to 2024 anyway because yeah. it's 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 done for us. And here's the thing: if I if I don't watch the end of this game, it's really like it never happened. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Exactly. Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read about it. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna like revisit it on YouTube or anything else like that. No. So it's really like I I can kind of stop this from happening by just turning this off. Yeah, exactly. It's like watching so, like Bambi get killed or something. If you don't ever get to that part, you know. No, I'm not. Yeah, that's kind of in the beginning of the movie. Like, the Bambi doesn't die. Actually, her mom dies or whatever. But it's like, you know, Old Yeller at the end or something like that. But yeah, I'm just not going to. I'm not. I refuse to watch the end of this. So this thing will this thing will just stay on forever. And it, for all I know, watch you could like intercept McCarthy and run back for a touchdown right now. It's 14 10. So let's see. Oh, a so little confusion, a little thing. Now all this positive thinking is kind of doing it. So that's right. We, you know, something. <laughs> I think this is time. I think this is time when we really need to put all of our positive thoughts together. Tinker Buck, Tinker Buck. That we've got that. I think it could be time for Tinker Buck right now, guys. Wait, if you guys want to Michigan Tinkerbuck. to be stopped here, yes, we need to bring Tinker Buck back, and you need to hit that like button right now. See that little like button, yeah. see the little thumbs up button. Hit that like button right now. And if we get 100 likes here in the next 60 seconds, oh my God. Washington will stop Michigan on this drive. So let's see. Let's yeah. see if you guys can bring Tinkerbug back to likes. Come on. Yeah. Let's see. Hit that like button. Let's, let's need, see. Oh, there goes those likes. Tink, Tinkerbug needs to come back to life quick, man. Because We need it. Get, we need she it she quickly. She's getting, she getting ran over right now. Well, she's not even there. Tinkerbuck's dead. Tinkerbuck was killed by by Burt Carton's lies about oh my god about Trey, Trey, Trey Henderson slander and Orlando Pace slander. So bring oh Tinkerbuck god. back. We need some positivity right now. There's been too much negativity, too much you know, too much positive Michigan energy, which yeah. I think we got we got to get rid of. And you guys can get it. You can help us. I totally agree. Uh, Keith Myers, thanks for the deuce. I thought Jenkins was asking for Mason and I all. Um, Guys can ask for whatever they want. They're not going to get that um, unless you're Walter Nolan. But, I mean, I think a lot of the money is kind of dried up, and you got to retain your own roster first. So I think that some of these guys have to realize, you know, get a little chunk of money, um, look at your opportunity, and then uh, see what you can do. So, again, I was I was told last night I'm going to double-check with my guy, but this thing's done. So I'm excited about it because, like I said, this guy's going to be 
um, a huge ad. I think the fans are going to love him. I think he's really a good player. Go watch his film uh, from the the Penn State game. Has you know, they had a good running defense? They, they shredded him. Uh, Larry Daniels, thanks for the deuce. No visible defense by Washington. Damn it! Yeah, I said, excuse me, in the pregame, their defense is atrocious. So, you know, I um, I don't know. Like, like I think that that's going to be our, our our issue here is Michigan. Michigan is a different animal, man, because they run the ball and people don't run it like Michigan anymore. Like Wisconsin used to do this kind of stuff where they'd line up in double tights and do their thing, and they didn't care what you did. They're going to run their offense, and you know it eventually pulverizes you. Um, and the dam breaks, except for in this game, the dam broke like in the first you know quarter. Uh, Jared, a hey Brandon, thanks for the 20 preach man. The cheaters at North are branded as cheaters. I agree. I have no respect for this game or the past three years of them as a cheating program. I have an old TV set up so I can shoot it after this disgrace. I love that. Thank you for the great show as always. Jared, that is one of the greatest tweets I've ever had. So you actually are going to shoot your TV. Um, be careful and, uh, don't kill anybody, you know, but that's, you shoot your TV. I hope you video that. That'd be amazing. Okay, um, we need positive, positive energy right now. Come on, guys. We can do this. We need it. Come on. Come on, guys. Look, look at JJ. Sir, 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 Sergio Selma has got the, the $2. Uh, nothing you say will make this better. So that, that's oh, the positive no. energy we need, Sergio. Sir, let's do this. Come on. Let's do it. Come on, defense. Here we go. You line it up. Run it in. Bang. Oh, he's back to pass. Oh, and he throws, knocked away. Good job, Washington. Good See, job. All Tinker that Buck. positive energy, all that positive energy right there. You guys did it. You guys Tinker defeated Buck. the Burt Carton negative energy right there, Look and you that. guys did it. You brought Tinkerbuck back to life. Now oh. we're back in this game. Look at the yep. ass pass. What kind of pass was yep. that? Here comes, here comes the kicker. Michigan yeah. somehow always has really good kickers, which is amazing to me. Because our except, kickers, except for in 1974, right 19, 1973, oh. and 1974, anybody remember who was the name of the Michigan kicker that missed kicks? Oh, oh, almost missed it on consecutive year. Missed the kick for the tie. Missed the kick for the loss in the 12-10 game. Missed the kicks for the tie in the 10-10. What was the name? Anybody remember? Gary Premian. Mike Lantry. Mike Lantry, former Vietnam veteran, Mike Lantry, missed kicks on consecutive years to get us in there. So God bless you, Mike, for your service and going to Vietnam, and and, and I'm glad you were a bad kicker. They, Michigan people still insist some of those kicks were good. The ones, uh, I guess the, it would have been 74, I guess, yeah. the, 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 the even number of years. Yeah, they're, they're, they still insist the kick was good. But and anybody there at the game, anybody there can, can – can vouch for the fact that those kicks were wide left. Yes. Tater Buck, thanks for the five. The Chiefs at North are playing like they did some in-person scouting. Sure they did. I'm sure they had the whole squad there. I'm sure Connor Stallings is going to be dancing in the confetti after this game. Uh, yeah. Dirk McLovin said, I told you about everything on the blue. Yeah. Mozart's guys, this is great. Said, thank you, Tinker Buck. Thank you, you guys. Brought Tinker, t- Tinker Buck came back to life and saved us. And, and so. we got and we got to stop. And that, that's that, that come back score. It's only one score game. Let's go. Come on, Washington. We can do this. Penix has got to start running. Like Penix has got to start using his legs. I mean, this he's run great. one time in like seven, eight yards, and other than that, he's been le- leaving leaving stuff on the bone, man. Jack Hollis, thanks for the deuce. I would rather watch Nicole Auerbach paint her hooves. That is Ooh. a sight to behold. Those are big old, ma- <laughs> big old mama hooves right there. Oh man, big old horsey, yeah. the big horse mama. <laughs> Come on, uh, B- Buck guy, your scoop, uh, ultra guy, I'll toss up you up here. Honestly, I don't think JJ gets drafted. I don't know where he'd get drafted. I think he'd certainly get drafted, but he's kind of a weird bird. Um, yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know Dude, franchise. I, I saw. I- I saw a mock today, first round. I mean, he's a first round guy. Every, I mean, that's kind of the uh, that JJ McCarthy is going to go in the first round of the draft. I'm telling you, it won't surprise me. I mean, you know, Baker Mayfield went in the first round. He actually had a, your boy had a nice game yesterday. Got a million dollar incentive. Yeah, Midget Magoo. Yeah. Midget. I, I hate I hate this left tackle with a passion. There's a big. You're just big you're, you're, you're envious. You're envious because he's got that uh those great abs and the. Uh, those, he's those big, awesome he's a big, big he's a big fat dude <laughs> like you don't see michigan's guys doing that stuff 
you know, like our guys got to get rid of the hand tells. Like our two tackles had hand tells and back flaps. And it's like, unless you're Trent Williams, you're not allowed to wear a, black, a back flap as a tackle. Man, like Washington is moving the ball right down the I'll tell you, Washington can get in the end zone. It's 17 10. And like, they're just, just hang. Washington knows how to win these close games. They can keep it close. They've been winning yeah. it close all year long. Yeah, I mean, they beat a good Oregon team, you know? Twice. Yeah, twice. So I mean, I mean Oregon Chuck was Oregon. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people thought Oregon was like really good, and I mean, they beat Oregon twice. They found a way. I mean, everybody thought the second time Oregon was going to run off the field, found a way to beat them. So get it in the end zone, seventeen ten. Let's go. It's all because of Tinkerbuck, honestly. Yes, the tower. Tinkerbuck. So I guess fifty five is a big Samoan guy. I don't know what he is. Yeah, Futawu or something. He's a douche. Douche canoe. <laughs> I don't know if I'd hand it to seven. I think seven's the guy that got hurt against Texas, man. He runs like like I do as a 39-year-old, which ain't too good. Uh, oh, no. What happened there? Fatu. Nice turf tape. Jesus Christ. These guys. <laughs> it's hard for me to root for Washington when that guy's got turf tape on. Do you guys, are you really going to get put on your ass that much that you're going to have to have turf tape on your elbows? Like you get running backs have it on. wearing it. They're like running backs that get done it, but like a tackle? Come on. Douche canoe. Oh. There you go. Yeah, it's center flinched. Yeah. This game would be like <laughs> Bama. Thank you, Ebuck91, for the deuce. This game would be like Bama Clemson in 2017, last second. Could easily be like that. I would love that. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Come on. Come on, Penix. Oh, no. Get out of there. Ooh. No. Yeah, Penix is just... Yeah, I, I, I don't know what... He's just not... He's not willing to use his legs right now. He's just like... I think he's trying to do everything from the pocket. And it's like, man, that's, you got to break Michigan down with your legs, Michael. Come on. Yes, you do. Bam yeah, sitting back there. Yeah, he's just making himself a sitting target right now. Come on, Washington. Stay in this game, Jesus. man. You got to stop. Stay in this game. They're shutting down the really good receiver. M. DeLuca, 907. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks for always being in here with us. We are all tight right now. I agree. Let's do some shots. That would be lovely right now. I mean, this is this game. If, if Michigan wins this thing and it's a massacre, like, whew, it's gonna be rough around old Columbus. Uh, Charles the Hammer, thanks for the deuce. If the team up north wins, Herb Street will be more insufferable. Yeah, he's not a big Buckeye. He tries to act like he is, but he really, uh, it's bad. Like so, some of these guys are huge Michigan honks now. God bless another one. Yeah, they got another procedure penalty, third and 19. 55, cover up the muffin top. Exactly. Like, what is he doing? You look like such a douchebag. No wonder you guys are getting ran right now. You know, your turf tape on. Jesus Christ. I don't think I've ever seen an offensive line with turf tape on. Are they staying on the field? Yeah, I think they're keeping the offense on the field. I think it's smart, fourth and seven or something like that. I think they, think they realize they got to. Well, yeah, because they're getting ran. Yeah, exactly. These guys have stopped jumping. I mean, a guard should never false start. Look at the ball, you idiot. Jesus. I hate Michigan's pom poms. Oh my god. I hate work. everything. I hate everything about Michigan. I do There's just nothing, nothing about them that's redeeming. Come on, you got five seconds to go. Now three. Okay, Michael, come on. Oh, he's wide open. He was wide open, and he overthrew him. He was wide open. Oh, no. Wide open. One oh. of those games. Yeah, it's one of those it's games. It's one of those games, man. Oh, it's like no. These guys are dominating on offense I, he, analysis. He literally like... turned, he turned, him, turned him loose. Oh, that's no. A, that's a good receiver, too. Oh. Wow. What a shank. Pain. Oh, what a shank. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's uh that's painful. 
Shankzilla. Yeah, it, yeah, that was bad. That was bad. This thing, this thing might be done at halftime, guys. I'm just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you. This thing goes 28-3, man. I'm, I'm heading for the big, the big uh, KCD in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> order me some grub hub five Brent Carton's like dude i i've got 103 temperature man i'm going to i'm going to bed or oh, some chicken God. soup and go to bed yeah jesus christ yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm gotten it out man i gotta do it for the squad I gotta do it for the yeah. squad fam. oh no i know this is uh it's it's painful that those are the plays you gotta make right there you gotta make those plays. i mean he, he was wide open wide open yeah yeah, that's um, that's tough. You know, it, it could be worse. I was sending uh, sending my daughter back to school today, and you get up at four thirty in the morning to take her to the airport, and drop her off, and then their plane gets delayed, and there's big snow in the Midwest or or what, wherever I don't know what the reason was, and so she calls like two and a half hours later. Um, my plane's late. Can you come pick me back up? And they pick up. And now her, her hockey stuff is missing. They they couldn't get off the plane. It's missing. Jesus. So man. so now she's back. We got her back. We don't know where her stuff is, and uh, she's back. And we're flying her out back at the bar, but they don't have any idea where any of her any of her gear is, and they can't tell me. Like, how do they lose a bag? Like, it, bags have tags on. Uh, how do you lose? Gi- how do you a lose gigantic, them? A gigantic a gigantic hockey bag. Gigantic. gigantic. Yes, exactly. Probably so the biggest bag, bag of the, the biggest bag of the entire baggage claim. Yeah, exactly. Her bag and sticks are, are both missing, and nobody has an idea where they are. And um, those are kind of important. She kind of needs. She kind of needs those things. Oh yeah. So uh, not Larry only do I get, get, get up at four thirty, but I got to get up again tomorrow at four thirty. That's my point. Tinker Buck hates you right now. Yeah, Tinker Buck does hate me. Larry Daniels won. Thanks for the deuce. I've never seen a luckier team. They are getting pretty lucky right now. Jesus Christ, man. I would have loved for us to play this Washington team. We would have ran all over them. Jack Hollis, thanks for the deuce. Any world in which UM doesn't vacate this win, Nevada, I'll let you take that one. Well, look, I mean, they were cheating this year. So, you know, they're going to vacate their wins in the years in which they were cheating. And so... That, there's no way to get around that. It's not like this was a 21, 22 thing. I mean, the Connor Stallion CMU thing was this year. That's yeah. that, that happened like this going. year. Yeah. So you know, it, it's kind of hard to get around that. No, I totally agree. Uh, Sergio Salmon, thanks for the deuce. Do the M players know the signs on defense? They might. They're playing like it, but I think that they're just out. They're out physicaling a soft team. You know, I mean, these guys. These guys are good, man. But Michigan, if you're not ready for this, man, you're going to get bushwhacked. There's a nice stop. There you go. Get back on schedule, yeah. boys. Let's go. That's right. Look, like they're one. They, this will the, be, they, the, they were one play away. If he completes that pass to Dunes, like it's seventeen ten right now. It's like yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's they're not. I mean, I I know it feels like this game, is, but they're just they're not that far away. I th- I think they can stop Michigan. Yeah, I at agree. least at least at least slow them down. Yeah, fisherman the is question. Now gone from the party. So appreciate you guys. <laughs> let all the trolls. Let me know who the trolls are, and I'll get they get whacked immediately. What a throw! Do you drop that? No, incomplete. Incomplete. Yeah. There you go. I mean, Washington's right in this. I'm telling you, Washington's in this game. They're starting to get into the game. They're starting to get in the rhythm. It's like. Nevada, uh, E-Buck I-91, thanks for the deuce. How do you know the NCAA will hit them in March? Uh, your thoughts, Nevada? Uh, really good source. Uh, I, I've heard March, April. I've heard March, April time frame. Um, that's coming from the broadcast guys. The broadcast guys are usually pretty tuned in. They're the ones that kind of know what's coming and when it's coming down. Um, that's the timeline I've been told is March, April timeline. And uh, that's that, it, that makes sense to me. And Michigan, Michigan just got stopped again. I tell you, Washington's right in this game, man. I tell you, Tinker Washington Buck. hang Tinker, around. Tinkerbuck, man. You brought Tinkerbuck back. Ever since, ever since we brought Tinkerbuck back to, to, to mm. isolate against your guys' negativity, he's been there. And that's like... Look at this. The magic is happening right now. 
Yeah. Tinkerbuck. Yeah. Eh? That would not have been even been a first down. So nope. Come on, Washington. You can do this. Penix, you can do this, man. Getting held to three points. But that's the thing. I don't feel like they've been able to stop and just Washington keeps stopping themselves for these but how many penalties did they have in it last time too? Like they had that's multiple true. procedure penalties and they still yeah. were th- throwing it having a guy wide up just like just clean it up, man. Come on, Washington. You can do this. Yeah. Uh I just want to make sure I got uh, Sean Rollins, thanks for the deuce. And Eva, okay, you guys kind of had the same question. Uh, why is the timeline March? I appreciate you both. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm excited. I, again, like Harbaugh's got like a 10 year extension sitting on his desk and he hasn't signed it. So that boy is gone. Big gone. So. Well, well, that's the point. Like, like, not that we have to get into this comparing stuff to the Michigan insiders, the information, but how many times did we hear that he was going to sign an extension and he was Michigan for life? And we're like, no, he's not going to sign it. And the reason he's not going to sign it is because if he signs the extension and then the show cause comes down, he's out of luck for the number of years the show cause. If he leaves before the show cause comes down, he can escape the punishment. So this is really a simple yeah. calculation for him. There's absolutely no way on earth he signs that extension because he signs that extension and he's he's basically locking himself out of not only college football, but the NFL as well. So no, no chance that happens. Yeah. Don Schaefer, thanks for the five. How uh, can anyone ignore uh, McCarthy's comments about cheating to catch up to OSU? That was hilarious because he like said that you know, the 2020 game, which we didn't even play, that was one where they knew that we were stealing the signs. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, there's too many ways to figure that out. Paper trails, whatever. Uh, does that raise eyeballs at the NCAA? I think everything does. I think it's going to be. Uh, I, I think it's going to be one of those deals where we, uh, you know, they're, they're going to get hammered. I think that again, the NCAA is going to take their time, get everything lined up, and the hammer is going to come. And what's going to be interesting is who's left after because Harbaugh is going to be gone. Is Sharon Moore gone? Is the next question. Does J.J. McCarthy say when there's a potentially whole new staff and they lose a ton? They have like 44 seniors, so that that roster is about to be drained, and we've got a lot of guys coming back, which is going to be scary. So you know, I, I that's why I'm really excited about it. Yeah, see, this is the thing. Uh, Jaw demand. Appreciate you. Thanks for the deuce. Harbaugh's gone. Did you see who he got as an agent? Yeah, Don Yee is. That's the ultimate power player agent. He's Brady's agent. He's the biggest coaching agent. Like he didn't hire the best agent in in the NFL to stay at college when he already has a contract negotiated. Like you don't have to hire an agent when you already have a contract on the on your table. Um, you're doing that to drive up interest with the Los Angeles Chargers and you know maybe the Vegas Raiders if you're trying to to drum up some more interest. But yeah, you don't you don't hire Don Yee unless you're real serious. Pooh Beard twelve. Thanks for the ten. Appreciate you. ESPN released an article that ESPN is negotiating exclusive CFP rights for the next eight years. Nevada. What are your network sources saying on this front? I would think that the big would not want that. Uh, your thoughts on that, Nevada? You know, I haven't dug into that, so I I don't really know. Um, but I I can. There's people I can talk to about that to try to find out the the veracity of that report and, and see where that's at. But yeah, I would imagine that would be um, somewhat problematic for the big and they, they, they'd want to avoid that. If, you know, but it, ultimately this, this thing comes down to money and we'll see, you know, all, but I can, I can certainly check to find out how much truth there is to that story. The center gets tripped here. It looks terrible. Um, really bad. Really bad. You don't need that negative play on the first play. Uh, Ryan Scott, thanks for the five. Appreciate you, brother. Nevada, what's your worst Buckeye National Champions experience? We'll be back next year. That is a great question. I think you know where you're going to go with that one. Nevada. My my worst one? Yeah, I mean, probably the two losses, right? Well, yeah, that, it was back to back to back 06, 07 was definitely um that tough. was that was a Yeah, it was tough. 06 was especially tough because we came in with such high expectations and then the, the oh, kickoff return where you have the highest of highs and, and yeah. you know, Oh seven, you know, there wasn't a lot of expectation. We were underdogs in that game. And while I was hopeful we could beat LSU, I mean like in Oh six, we fully expected to run. I mean, I don't, what were we like nine point favorites or something like that? You know? So oh, yeah. um, I think Oh six was, was tougher. Also Oh six. And this is a little known fact and people don't really know this, but Nevada, Buck. I, I I got food poisoning at that game too. 
And so it was not only a, uh, a terrible loss, but then like I, I had like the worst car ride back to the thing. And then I got sick and I was so sick. And then the hotel for some reason had some people coming in. So we couldn't stay at the hotel for one more day. So Nevada buck had to fly back sick oh on the plane, which is just, just that's terrible. Like, that's, just, that's hell on earth. Basically that, that is absolutely hell on yeah. earth. So yeah, little known fact that uh, Nevada buck had to endure that after the 06 game. So in some way I kind of, I blame you a little bit, Kirk. I want you to know that no, because I, I had to go I, through that. I, I totally blame myself and everybody else that was out there. That was, <laughs> that was a, you know, again, you, you watch some of these games sometimes and it's like, you know, in football, sometimes it's just not your day. And that's just, you know, and again, it's not an excuse, but sometimes like things happen and all of a sudden you're like, yeah, this might not be our day today. It's kind of like, you know, when we lose, uh, oh, I love John Harbaugh giving his brother a hug on the sideline when they're winning. It's amazing. Um, you know, like when we lose, Devin Brown and all of a sudden you know we got Lincoln out there like it ain't gonna be our day I'm just saying it's tough um Zach Fry thanks for the five if you have a question throw it in there um yeah that 06 game was just it was terrible and again that was the team that you know we had a nice run up to Michigan um and then we just lost focus and you know, there were too many guys thinking about too many things other than winning that game and that's on leadership you know and it's not you know and, and I love trust but you know, I think that you know, our, our leadership failed us in that game. And, uh, you know, I think that that's one of those ones where if you could go back in time and do it a, a different way, be tougher, whatever, um, you do it. But we were out at that bowl site for like two weeks. It was terrible. Um, Peace, Florida. Kirk will stay until Michigan scores again before Washington. Yeah. I, uh, oh, man, this is, I, just, I hope we can get a stop here and get off the field. If not, this thing might be going uh, the way of the dodo, this live stream. Oh, they're bringing in the other quarterback for their little wild monkey play or whatever that thing, wild Wolverine. Old Orgy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he's, he's really fast. How yeah. did Washington not know that that was going to be a run? How do you not go to like a 10 man front when that guy comes in like that? Let's run a corner blitz. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's not, he's not going to throw it. Ever. No, he's not going to throw it. No. You know, he's going to read option. And again, you guys wonder why we say we need to run the quarterback. Like, look how easy it is. Basically, one guy had to get a block there. Coast of Loveland, 18, their tight end is the only guy. Yeah, but, a, look how, at that how, hole. How, how, Jesus. I mean, that's the kind of stuff how that do you, frustrates How do you that. miss that? Yeah, that's frustrating. I mean, that's brutal. That's something you know it's not your night when they don't call that one. His jersey yeah. stretched across his entire body. I don't like that play. Well, and you know he's going to keep it because he's trying to make something happen. So he's not handing it off to anybody. You know, like no. he's getting two snaps or something like that. So he's like, I'm keeping it every play. So it's like, I mean, as a Washington defender, you just there's certain things you just have to have some situational awareness where you know what's going yeah. on and you can kind of predict what's going to where the play is going to be. Yeah. God, I hate Michigan so much. Yeah, they have 200 too. yards rushing already. See, they're they're fitting the run better now. Yeah. I mean, after getting gashed, I mean, is he hurt? Oh no, I'm watching this guy. A guy hurt. That's not good. <laughs> That's Legion eight eight eight. Appreciate you. Thanks for the ten, brother. Uh, first super chat. Welcome to the super chat land. It is a, a blast. Uh, appreciate the job y'all do. Thank you so much. Again, we love doing this and kicking it with you guys. Washington is basically 2021 20, OSU. Yeah, I mean, we were explosive on offense and weren't great on defense, but, you know, I I don't know. I mean, I thought they put up more of a fight than this, but, you know, the offense isn't really clicking right now either. So you, know, you expected Penix, in, you know, being a six-year guy, to to shred these guys a little bit, but he's missing easy throws. And, you know, when, when you're playing a team with equal talent, man, you can't miss layups, and they're missing layups left and right, and they're taking dumb penalties and, it's like the moment's too big for him right now. That's the good ones for you, Nevada. Larry Daniels won. Thanks uh, for being an ultra member as always, brother. Food poison doesn't happen if you stick to liquor. Vodka tonic. There you go, Nevada. Yeah, no, I, I know. Well, yeah, the the weird thing is 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 it was like just I, I didn't I didn't know what I ate. That I I I really believe it was just the experience, just the horrible experience. 
led me to the uh, to a place of where I made to myself be, sick. To be, to, to be nauseous. Yeah, just like permanently uh, nauseous. It was just it was horrible. I, I was. It is not fun. Here we go, Karis Washington. Thanks for being an ultra member. Appreciate you, brother. Maybe this intro will fire up the D. They need something, man, because this thing, uh, <laughs> this thing goes, you know, seventeen three. Uh, yeah, this thing goes twenty four three. This is ugly. Teresa S. Uh, Kirk, ever think of being a TV analyst? Well, I did that for a while. I did it actually on CBS and uh, the local Fox station. I liked it, um, but it doesn't pay hardly anything. A lot of the former players do it. Um, they play, they pay peanuts and I have to wear a suit and I hate wearing a suit. So, um, I just, for me, uh, I like what I do here. I think we have a great deal. We have a great audience. Um, and, and, and again, like to be able to just jump in my, in my office and knock this podcast out and not have to drive down to the studio. Cause you know, like 10 TV is all the way down off. Uh, you know, they're both on old TV over road. 10 TV is, and so is Fox. I mean, it's a good 35 minutes from my house. So that'd be terrible. I used to do uh wall to wall sports, which is a late night show that with Dom Tiberi. And then I did the, uh, Buckeye football fever for like a year and a half. And they were both, they were fun, but it's just kind of miserable. Cause you have to go back to the studio at 11 at night to do like the recap. And I'm not about that life anymore. Um, but I appreciate that. Zach Fry, thanks for the 10. Jumped on late, may have missed it. Any chance no six safeties and Buckeye great 33 takes over linebacker. Uh, Stark County dude here as well. I have some dudes here playing a ball. Um, I don't think his background is suited for safeties. I could see Walton becoming the guy. I think Matt Giriani becoming the guy uh, could happen. Um, but they got to get James a job. So I don't know if it means you fire Parker Fleming, you make James the linebackers coach slash special teams coordinator, or you make Keenan Bailey the special teams coordinator. I don't know. Uh, but you got to get James on the road recruiting. Um, that's that's just kind of a no brainer at this point. Third and uh, seven. Needless, needless to say, this is a enormous play right now. <laughs> Tinker Buck. Come, come on, guys. Come on, Washington. Come on. Get him off the field. Come on, you guys can do it. I believe in you. Four man front. Oh, they're running. They're running at it. Oh. Get him on the ground, guys. They're gonna go for it here. I, they're going for it I, exactly. See, yeah. Michigan, Michigan attacked this like they they're gonna use f- four downs to get seven yards. I mean that <laughs> that's which fourth and three, man. This would be gutsy if they go for it. I don't. I mean, are, are they going for it? No, they're kicking it. Jordan Forbes makes it five. The cheaters at North have five losses next year. I think they easily could. Look at that schedule, man. This is. This is going to be the end of the road for these guys. It's going to be ugly. Tom Gombar, thanks for the five. We were the second best team of the season. I agree. Play Michigan and everything else. And on the road, too. This game is a joke. I totally agree. Um, you know, this, these Michigan games last year have had far reaching implications. They cost CJ Stroud the Heisman. They might have cost Marvin Harrison the Heisman. Um, you know, it's it's been, I mean, CJ could have won two Heismans if we beat Michigan. So it's. These games are, they're no joke. And, you know, it's like we lost to Georgia last year. We should have won the national championship the last two years. But, you know, Ryan you, Mich- is, Michigan, Michigan, Michigan's going for this one. I'm telling you, they called timeout to go for it. Well, yeah, they got, going, I mean, yeah. I mean, they're, they're talking to JJ. Like, they're not talking to him to yeah. kick a field goal. You know, no, they want to go, mean, they, they they go ran, win the game. They, they ran the punt team out there, and there was no, there no way. Like, they got, they gonna, they, like he's, got, he's got the flag up and everything. But, see, this so, is the difference. Like, they're going for it on fourth and no. three. Ryan punted for it on fourth and one. And yeah. it's like, that's, that is the difference. It, it, whether it works out or whether it doesn't work out, it's the right mentality. The right mentality yeah. is when it's third and seven, you're playing as if you've got two plays to get seven yards, not one play. And that's the, the, the biggest difference between Michigan and Ohio State this year was they're going for it. We didn't. We're not. We didn't even give ourselves a chance to go for it. They're going for it on fourth and three in this situation. Whether it works out or not, I still respect the call. It's a great call. I agree. Even if they just line up to try to draw my sides, but whatever. No, they're going to go for it. They're not going to waste the time to do that. I agree. You know. Buckeye one, thanks for the deuce. Uh, We love what you do. Appreciate that. You in Nevada do here too, Kirk. Again, thank you for the love. Again, we love doing this with you guys. Here we go. Nope. Let's go. No. Good job. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Tinker let's Buck. 
Let's freaking go. What a great job. Awesome. I still love the play call. I mean, I love Michigan going forward. I love what they're doing. But it's like that couldn't have been their best option. They had to have 89. They, no. they, they thrown at the tight end one time. No, it's crazy because their tight end's their best player. Yeah. Coast of Loveland's their best player by far. Yeah. He's the other tight end. 89 is the, uh, the transfer, I think, from Indiana. Yeah. Good defense, man. That, that guy was covered up. McCarthy stinks, too. I mean, McCarthy's not very good at Tinker all. Buck. Like, it, any Buck team that takes, takes McCarthy in the first round is out of their minds. Okay, come on, Washington. You got a chance now. Okay. okay. You get a score here, you get the ball at half. I mean, this yeah. is kind of it right here. Yeah, this is kind. Of, this is kind of. This could be it kind of, for Burt Carton too, because Burt Carton could be heading to the disabled list here at halftime. Instead, this could keep him around. I'm on, I'm, I'm on IR. I got like an <laughs> IV in my arm right now. Getting it out we for you guys that. to see it. Uh, what we should do is we should have my temperature on the uh, on the screen right now. <laughs> what is Kirk's resting temperature right now? Nice play. Okay. Nice, nice little nice side Let's go, Tinker Buck. But th those are so easy, though. Those plays where you, yeah. you, you go to that un uncovered guy in the slot, like yeah. we don't we don't we don't do that. We don't throw no. plays. Like Every, that. Everything we have to do has to be the hardest way possible every time. Like like this little run right here. You go get go get four, stretch it out a little bit. Yeah. Boy, that could have been that was blocked up a little bit better. That like like that could have been better yeah. than it was. Oh yeah. I mean, they had a wall. It's like they had a little lane. I, I like them going fast. Going fast is the way. Yeah, their their running back is really hurt because he looks slow as molasses. Yeah, well, he got he got his ankle rolled up and he just does not look the same. Come yeah. on, Penix. Come on, let's go, buddy. That's a right there. Oh, uh, tunnel screen. Go. go. There see you the go. Push you him the again. <laughs> see the lineman see, push is, him is forward. Is that lineman screws up the tunnel screen? And just shoves yeah. him forward, just like push him. That guy was so, there was nobody near him, so it's literally just pushed him. Yeah. Look at him. Like seven Try to tunnel straight whoop, and run into whoop. each other and not block anybody. <laughs> Fall on the ground like an idiot. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Uh, got the first down. Let's go. Come on, Penix. Let's keep Burt Carton around. Oh, 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 the little fakey play. Another one. Yeah, look look at that good play. They, they didn't even get set there. No, they did the fake, the fake the, set. The, where they just they all did, went up and they did. Yeah, yeah they the did fake. like it was like a fake look back. They all like stand up like yeah. they're pointing at shit, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, stop it! I mean, I actually love that because the defense see, is resting when they see that. That's great. All remember when the Cowboys? Remember what? What was that called? Where the Cowboys offense used to the offense line used they used to go up and then go down again. Remember that? Here we go. No, here it was we go. Before, it, was that like Landry was, or something? Yeah, Landry. When Landry would do that stuff like that, oh. they would do that. That was that was one of my memories of the '70s. Was the Cowboys offensive line that used to do that? Yeah, Kent McKinley used to do that. It was always kind of funny. Larry Daniels what won. What, Scoop what is that called? Uh, I have no idea. I, I think it's called stupid. Stupid. Uh, hoping <laughs> thanks for the deuce, brother. Hoping no money on this Nevada. Uh, did you bet the no, house I, on Michigan? I'm the big no, no, no. I no, I almost did to be honest with you because I, I I think Michigan was the play, but I didn't. I have no play tonight. I have no action tonight at all. The emotion, the emotional hedge. Yeah, I, I but I would have bet Michigan if uh, if I just didn't hate them with every fiber in my being. I would have bet them. And mind you, like nobody is. I'll call that. I mean, Nevada is the kind of guy he'd bet on. If him, his son ordered DoorDash, he ordered Uber Eats. Like they take action on who's gonna get their food oh. first like oh yeah there's no question yeah. about it i'm getting kudoba oh. they didn't call that no, like, I, 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 have I, they called a pedal down michigan yet tonight no and look i don't I, think I, I, bet, one. I, I bet women's college softball this year so like if you, you can bet women's college softball you'll you'll bet anything yeah i didn't even know they took action on women's college softball but they do what do you bet on? Like, that? what girl has the most TikTok followers, and you lay the action on that? Well, uh, there's information you can get on that, man. I mean, finally. Ah, uh, there we go. Jesus. There we go. There we go. Just draw it, Tinker Millen. Just, just throw your hands up in the air like you just don't care. Tinkerbuck is. I mean, Tinkerbuck's kind of been the key to this whole thing. 
we since that moment we've turned this whole thing around guys we've turned it around with our positivity we've turned it around with our likes we've turned yeah. it around with fighting the negative energy of kirk barton's sickness right now all this stuff is coming together at the same time uh, I'm oh, just look saying. at that crap that's look, terrible like you, gotta, like you gotta call that you have to call that and they haven't yes. called anything that might be michigan's first penalty yeah literally Ooh, number one was kind of open. Yeah, they got to throw it to one, man. He's really good. Let's get a touchdown right now, boys. Get a touchdown. They're going to have a worthless run here into a loaded box, of course. Let's go run it for an inch, two inches. Uh, they got four yards or three yards out of it. But, yeah, number seven is uh, – he's the guy that's wearing the hoodie. I don't understand the guys that are wearing the hoodies. They want to be like James Jones, dude. Yeah, I Your guess. Boy. Packers legend. Yeah, I guess. James Jones, the guy, Aaron Jones, yeah. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers made him a multimillionaire. He really did. He went to the yeah. Raiders and got cut in the middle of the season, came right back to the Packers. 15, 15 touchdowns. Uh, what is this? Get oh, it. my oh. God. Block oh. him, dude. Yeah. Oh, 77. Boy, it's funny, that Wash looked like that. Wa Washington that was, that line, was their linemen don't there, wear braces. Oh yeah, of course. That was there. there. Oh no! What happened? I mean, oh. could you be any worse, oh. right guard? Oh Jesus my goodness! Christ. Go cut the guy. I mean, he literally just whiffs on the guy on a oh. corner. Take off your skirt, like, dude, and go hit somebody. Yeah, I don't, how do you not bury that guy? Look at that. They're so that, soft. That, oh that's my as, God. That's, as bad, that's literally as bad as you could do that block. I mean, I just go cut the guy. I go throw my head right into his knee. God bless. Hey, what What are you doing? Now, what happens to that? You're, if, if you're in film review and that comes up, or do you watch that with, like, the other offensive linemen and stuff like that? How, what happens on that? I mean, just. I mean, do they show that? Like, does the whole team watch that? And then people just go. Oh, Barton, you suck so badly. I'm no, like, like, I mean, people, it'd be, people, it'd be in the room, make, but like... Do people yeah, that, make comments or anything at like that? I mean, if you can't block a corner, man, you shouldn't be playing, honestly. Yeah. Especially when you're yeah. a guard. You weigh 320 pounds, you're going against the guy who's 180. It's trash. You run. Oh. Going for it here in Nevada? I'm going for it, personally. You have to, right? Yeah, I think you Thomas Kelly, to. thanks for the deuce. Doesn't the run to give Howard two more years? I don't believe so. I think he's got one left. Um, oh, man, God man. bless, man. These are just terrible angles for that play. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. They're going for it. This is kind of a kind of an enormous play, to say the least. Do they have any timeouts? Uh, I think they got one. I would call it. I'd call it Reddit. They're gonna call it. They're gonna call it. No, they're not. No. Holy no, cow. Not. Oh boy. Touchdown. No. Oh. No. Oh. Don't call oh, offensive no, interference. Don't. don't do it. No, he's dancing. It's gotta be on the defense. I don't know. I don't think he knows. I think he knows. Oh, uh, please call offensive interference. No, don't call offensive interference. No, it's it's on the defensive guy. What's the guy talking about? What's Oh, holding. There we go. Touchdown, boys. Let's go. We're back. We're Tinker back. Buck. Tinker Buck is back. Tinker Buck, Tinker Buck. Tinker Buck brought us home, baby. Tinker Buck is back. I mean, this game has been so completely lopsided, and it's 17 10 and getting the ball back at halftime. Yeah. So, like, they're in this game, man. They are absolutely in this game. We need to give Tinker Buck some likes real quick, folks. Because I'm yeah, just telling we you, need some yeah, ever since we did that, the whole, the whole game changed. Like, they're getting the yeah, ball out. This could be 17 17. Wow. Yeah, what a big play. Big play. Washington's starting to figure it out. They're starting to stop. And, and, and Michigan's been so lucky. It's played a perfect game. And, you know, and Washington's only down seven. I, I think it's absolutely. I, we're thinking this game could have been 28 3. And now we're sitting oh, there 17 10. What a humongous, humongous play. Oh, yeah. That guy grabbed him so badly. Like, look at him cut out of his leg. Jesus. Thing. Yeah. The best set umpire just standing there in the middle, not moving. 
an inch. <laughs> like, why can't he stand outside of the end zone? He's got to stand right in the middle of everything. What if he dove and like knocked that ball away? Like, he, like dove like full out, and then dove. He, he did like the big, the big like no, no, yeah, and, like incomplete. Yeah, yeah, he just dove out there and did, like, what could you do if like a guy went out there and just like dove and, and like knocked the ball away? And then he hit the uh, he hit the like the Dion in the end zone. And it said, <laughs> he said, I'm prime. Did I'm a little prime. stone cold, did stone cold stunner on him. Like he stunnered one, one of the guys or something like that. Yeah. That would have been, wow, what a humongous play. Now, don't give up anything late to stupid Michigan. Watch him do it. And Michigan's got no timeouts left, too, right? And Michigan's got no timeouts left. Right. I, I'm telling you, Tinker Washington's Buck. still Washington's still in this ballgame, man. Let's Washington go is Buck. still in. Let's go. Let's go, Tinker. man. Watch they'll I mean, hand it oh. to their, their they'll, they'll hand it right to their scrub running back and it's gonna go right to the crib. Now if I'm there at the game right now, if I'm in Houston right now, I'm probably heading to the men's club right now for like for a yeah, kick ass steak yeah, during the halftime. Head, that's right. You're heading to you're heading to treasures? Not nah, men's club. Men's club. Treasure. That's a, that's yeah. a, is that, no, is that men's the name club. of the place? Yeah, that's a great, great spot. Great spot. Oh, he's, they're throwing. They're throwing. Oh, oh let's get them on the ground, down. folks. No timeouts. Okay, Two-minute drill. They got no timeouts. Clock stops. Come on. Moving the chains. Set. Move the chains. Come on. Come on, Washington. Don't give up anything stupid to these guys. You know they're going to the tight end again. You know that's where they're going. Come on, Tinkerbuck. We need to stop here. Come on. Get them down. Inbounds. Inbounds. Oh, yeah. Inbounds. Run that clock. Oh, big Let's go, big Tinkerbuck. Play. We need big likes play. for Tinkerbuck. Let's go, Tinkerbuck. <laughs> Let's go. Likes for Tinkerbuck. Like, Bring like, Tinkerbuck. Like, like, like. Tinkerbuck like, like, back like, to like. life. Like, 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 like. Oh, go throw that down. T Tinkerbuck changed the whole complexion of this game. It's crazy. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, that was a big play. Keep that ball Huge. in bounds. Yeah. You got to get out that of guy, bounds. That's it. What is he doing? Spinning back to the inside? Yeah, that was that was not very smart. That's what, that's oh, what, he's he's having, that's what he called having a general studies uh, <laughs> diploma right there. Yeah, the Michigan bad general oh, general on. studies. Washington, come on, don't give up a late field goal to these guys. Come on, go on, make a stop. Come on, Number here one. we go. Go on to the oh. one man side. Nothing. Okay. He hit Jack. He hit Jack. Har hit Jack Harbaugh on the head. Oh, oh it's fourth down and three. They got to kind of. They got to punt it here. Oh fuck! Or absolutely. Yeah, they can't. They can't go for it. No, God no. There's no there's no chance they can't go for it here. No. I mean there's being there's being gussy and then there's being stupid. This no. would be colossally stupid. Washington's still got a timeout left. No. And what are they gonna do? Take a delay a game penalty? Yeah, they're taking a delay a game penalty. So that hard and then they're, and, and then they're gonna punt. Man, I'm telling you, 17 10 at halftime. Now, in this situation right now, if I'm Washington. I'm not even putting a guy back. I'm not even putting – like, do you want to try to field a punt in this situation? No. No. There's there's just no need for it. You know, the punt – fielding the punt is the most – we saw at the end of that Alabama-Michigan game where the guy got stopped on the one-yard line or whatever it was. Like, the last thing you want to do is field a punt and buff one or do something. Like, just don't even have anybody back, Washington. No, there's no yeah. need for it. No. Let's go, Tinkerbuck. Let's go. Good Let's job, go, boys. Good job. What's Come on, up, Scott? Just Welcome to the chat, big dog. Thank play you, Play your defense. Sean. Oh, nobody back. Don't touch it. Run away from it. Don't go anywhere near it. Yeah, I mean, you're just taking it. You're on the one-yard line. Yeah, exactly. Look like, at what the Michigan's like. Oh, we stopped them. We got them on the one-yard line. It's like, guys, like it doesn't matter. Just taking the no. Yeah, Yeah, Michael. Don't try to do anything crazy. Don't go back in the shotgun. What was Harbaugh doing at the end of the first half in the uh, Alabama game? Remember they were going to shotgun in the end zone and doing stuff? It's like, what What are they doing? These guys are just so dumb sometimes. Yeah. Just you go know. under the center, take the snap, take a knee, and let's go. Let's go at halftime. Yeah. No, this was, this was big. Man, we were getting ready to turn this thing off, do that Rambo highlight thing. That's Go right. there. I was going to rewatch Napoleon. Go no. watch Predator. You said Napoleon <laughs> sucked. 
I know that's I wanted to go to sleep, so I was gonna watch Napoleon again and just go to sleep, you know what I'm saying? But Did you see Killers of the Flower Moon? No, I haven't seen that yet. I wanted to go see that. I, I read the book. The book was absolutely fabulous. So, I, but is, has anybody seen the movie? In the chat, have you seen Killers of the Flower Moon? Yeah, because that that movie kind of came and went at the theaters. I didn't hear much, yeah. so I'm, I'm really, yeah. I mean, wow, this is, watched uh, it as he said, the power of Tinkerbuck. Yeah, I mean, man. Tinker. I mean, this is really. I don't want to take all the credit but i'm going to take like 99 percent of the credit because that game is going to take all the credit i'm going to take all the credit yeah exactly and and i've determined too that that molly mcgrath is semi good looking too she's much better than nicole auerbach oh god pam ward (laughs) oh god (laughs) don't even god bless yeah we don't need to go there man we don't need to go there you're already sick we never, enough as it is. I remember when, when I played, man, we never got the hot sideline reporter ever. We always got the, like, we'd always get Shelly Smith or we'd get, like, Chewbacca. Just, like, Chewbacca. I'm like, oh my God, why can't we ever get Aaron Andrews? Never. Yeah. No. You know, we'd always get, we'd always get, like, Lisa Salters. Like, oh my God. <laughs> she was that great. She she, yeah, she, she interviewed me before the 07 game and, like, she basically in the pregame show made up that I like said some sort of a speech or something. I was like, I never said I never gave a speech. I said we can't suck anymore and we gotta play harder and do better, but it was funny because I had all these people blow me up after the games like, what was that speech you gave before the Michigan game? I was like, I never gave a speech. I mean I said like probably twelve words, but it's not really a speech. Let's not suck, boys. So what are your thoughts so far, guys? I'll put that in the chat. Um so what was the best speech that you ever heard before a game? What was the most inspirational speech? Or, or, or is there one that was particularly memorable? Okay, so 06, we play Michigan, the one versus two game, biggest game of all time. I will never forget this as long as I live because that was the biggest game ever. And like, you know, our pregame meal, because it's a 3.30 game, so we have our pregame meal at like noon or whatever. Um... Quinn Pickock was a captain. You know, Troy Smith was a captain. Doug Dadish and um, who's our other captain? David Patterson. So our two offensive guys were Troy and Doug, and our two defensive guys were Quinn and um, David. So Quinn is the last guy to speak, and like in the middle of the ballroom. And mind you, like Joseph Barksdale was there. He's like you know top five tackle, five star guy. We had all these like recruits that were sitting there, and all the coaches leave. Like when the players talk, the coaches leave, but the recruits stayed. Dude, Quinn Pickock in the center of everything stands up on a stands up on a chair. Um, it has like this like like the tub that they'd collect the dishes in or whatever, and he has like a giant like paper mache M, and he stands up on a chair in front of the entire team, and urinates on it. And I'm sitting there, and I'm just like is everybody else seeing this right now? Like he's literally peeing in front of the entire team and these recruits and God and everybody. And I was like, I don't know if that's motivating. It's kind of weird, but it was pretty funny. And and we went out and won the game. So obviously it worked, but it was just like, <laughs> I mean, literally like he whipped it out in front of like a bunch of 18 year old high school kids. I mean, that was one of the biggest official visit weekends we, in the history of Ohio state. We had a thousand kids in because it was the biggest game ever. And, they're all you know, in there. We, and, 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 and you know we got no one out of that weekend, too. Like, we got we got no, no recruits. We got no. no one. Do you see? No. So you think that could have been the turning point? You think because Quinn Pitcock whipped it out and, and whizzed all over the thing that we, we didn't get any recruits? I have no idea. But I, I do remember, like, jo- Joseph – I've talked to Joseph Barksdale walking off the field. I was like, hey, man, you'll love it here. Go Bucks. And, yeah, man, this is great. And LSU, gone. Like, I mean, everybody just, like, dipped out. And, like, it is what it is. Like, I mean, we survived. Like, we were so good in 07, 08, 09. 10 we were still wanting bcs games and stuff but quinn doing that was that was the weirdest speech i've ever seen in my life and it a million percent happened and i was sitting there and i was just like is this real um so i don't know if anything could top that because that was beyond where um e buck 91 thanks for the deuce why would day want an nfl oc why not a college oc i think it just it fits the style i mean i mean ryan's an nfl guy uh he was an nfl guy long before he was a full you know I mean, he was in the nfl for multiple years you know, he had his tenure at Boston College with Adazio, but I think he, I think what he really wants is a guy that can lead the room, lead the offense, 
and take the play sheet all his hand. And if it's an NFL guy, great. If it's a college guy, great. Uh, but it has to be a guy that he inherently trusts. So, um, you know. Uh, Bogey Bucknut, thank you for the five. If Luke Montgomery was running with the ones the preseason camp, why isn't he being talked about as a potential starter at guard or tackle? Um, I think he is being talked about as a potential at guard or tackle. I think that, you know, there's a spot on the line that I think there's about five guys that are going to be competing for it. And I think Luke's right in the mix of it. Um, I think he's a better tackle than a guard. I don't think he's strong enough to play guard yet. But, you know, I think he's got uh, he's got good upside. Uh, he has to get a lot better. You know, he was kind of the, the sixth lineman uh, for a big chunk of the year, and um, you know, but he's got he's got to you know step up this year. And you know, we got to find who the who's the best pass blocker at right tackle, and it could be Luke. There's uh, him, Tigra, uh, Fitzpatrick, Zen. There's a bunch of guys back that could fit that, and I think you just put them all against each other and made the best man win. Expedition Greg, thanks for the deuce, uh, and thanks for being a scoop ultra member. Appreciate your brother always being in here. Your thoughts on Ty Hamilton returning Nevada? I'll let you take that. Huge. I mean, huge. Yeah. I'm talking about a guy yeah. who had two sacks on the interior line, you know, his top 10 in tackles, uh, unheralded guy. I, I, I think it's absolutely enormous. I mean, potentially what you're talking about is you're talking about Jack Sawyer, Ty Leak Williams, Ty Hamilton, and JT Tumalaw all returning for next year. On yeah. top of That's Cody huge. Simon, Jordan Hancock, Denzel Burke, I mean, I mean, that is one nasty defense that you're talking about right there, and uh, I, I think it's a, it, it's a huge piece. I mean, it's a foundational piece. So like I said, you're, you're literally talking about bringing back four guys on the defensive line that all could have gone out of the NFL. So uh, yeah, I think it's an absolutely enormous, underrated kind of announcement today. Yeah, and, and, and they've all started, and they've all played big minutes. So. Again, I think it's a lot better when you've got some of these older guys coming back because then you don't have to count on Tywin Malone or Hero Canoe or some of these guys that haven't played it. I mean, you're going to need those guys to get in the rotation, but you don't have to count them to, to be starters the first day of spring ball. Francis Plum, thanks for the deuce. In Seattle, pulling for the Huskies. Love the show. And we're pulling for the Huskies about as hard as you can imagine. So uh, I hope they get this thing done. Again, this is going to be a very interesting first drive, man. Huskies get the rock, and it's about to be go time. Uh, another super chat. Tom Gombar, thanks for the deuce. Great show, guys. The Bucks to win it all next year. I'm telling you guys, a lot of people jumped off the bandwagon after that miserable Cotton Bowl, but I like this quarterback. This kid's a tough kid, tough as nails. He's a moose, man. He's a big, freaky athlete, and I think that we haven't had that in a few years. Um, I think he's going to have to run. I think that's what is in his blood is to run, and uh, I think he's a lot tougher than CJ. I think CJ's a fantastic thrower, but um, yeah, I thought Justin was tougher than CJ. Um, he ran more, and I think Will's going to have to run more. And I think that's going to be something that we were deficient in. You know, CJ's probably the best thrower in the history of Ohio State, but he left a lot of meat on the bone by not running the ball sometimes and drove us crazy. Now, he runs in the NFL all the time. You watch the games and pulls it down and goes and scrambles and gets converts first downs, and that's all we ever wanted for him to do. But he never really did that here. Um, all right. Uh, these super chats are flying in. Appreciate you guys. PJ Studio, uh, thanks for the 20. Thanks for being a Scoop Ultra member as well. Appreciate this, Kirk. Have my TV muted. I do too. It's brutal. Uh, wifey is enjoying this too. Love me some Scoop. Thanks. Uh, shout out to the couples that watched this together. Um, I met a fantastic couple at Costco of all places, which was hilarious. And they watched this and they watched the show every night together. And I was like, that's really cool. So um, again, I appreciate you guys. Uh, we tried to make this fun, entertaining informative you know kind of check all the boxes so it's uh it's not dry content a lot of a lot of these podcasts are just they're so bad that you can't even believe anybody's ever watch them but it's kind of our ratings are where they're at and there's where theirs are so uh, we really push it to be entertaining um and again we appreciate you guys tuning in each and every night paul lewis thanks for the five nevada i'm gonna throw this one to you uh guys remember one of my favorite players ike kelly throw that to you nevada Ike Kelly, great, great player. Wow, that's a blast from the past. I mean, you're talking yeah. about kind of old school Buckeye and uh, old school. I mean, I just think that you're talking about a, a, an era when it was just so fun to watch and it was so fun to be part of. And, you know, I think the players, I mean, were the players really tougher? They sure seemed that way. The game seemed tougher. Everything about it seemed tougher. And, you know, 
I, mean, I, I kind of miss that. I, you know, I, I know that they've they've tried to make the game safer, and you know, I don't want to be a dinosaur and talk about the game, but some of those guys just played the game the right way, and and Ike was one of those guys of you know, I I just I just think that they, they don't make them like that anymore. And you know, you're talking about players that for Ohio State, it's you know, the guys that are always kind of knocked into my memories about you know how the game is supposed to be played, and I don't know. Like I said, I just I, I always I, I miss that kind of football, and I feel bad saying that because, I like I said, I feel like a dinosaur talking about it that way. But boy, you know the game's changed. I I think back to some of the the, the great plays that I've seen in Ohio State football. The Zach Dumas hit in the Citrus Bowl in that game. Oh God! And I think about the play, like those are plays where guys would would not they'd be thrown out of the game, they'd be suspended, maybe this that, and like yeah. at the time we all stood up and cheered, you know and. And like, I mean, are, were we all like died? I feel like people are back in the Roman days and the gladiators. But football's changed so much and uh, stuff. But that, yeah, that's a that, that's a, a great a great memory for me. Great great blast from the past. Great great name to bring up. He was a great. Uh, he was big at Worthington Industries for a long time. I golfed with him a bunch. He's an awesome dude. He's a tough as nails. Uh, you know, he's got one of those handshakes where you break your hand in half. But he's. He's an old timer, man, and I I love I love talking to guys like that. Like I miss a lot of these guys that have passed on, like Jack Tatum. I miss talking to John Hicks, still wagon. Um, yeah, I, I was really tight with John. I'd go see John Hicks about once or twice uh, a month. Go grab lunch with them. But he was the he was the goat, man. Um, Wade Harper, thank you for the five. Just sat down to watch the game. Does UW have a chance? Yes. What are the highlights in the first half uh, for OSU scoop that I missed? Thanks, NF Michigan. Appreciate you, Wade. I hope uh, you and your son are enjoying the game tonight. Um, the highlight, honestly, of the first half was us resurrecting Tinkerbuck, and that changed everything. Uh, we we brought Tinkerbuck back to life. We got like 100 likes in 32 seconds, and uh, ever since then, Michigan went from averaging, I don't know, 45 yards a carry to now they're down to like 25 yards a carry. So something had to have worked. Um, Nevada, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I... Like I said, I, I, you know, the the resurrection of Tinkerbuck is the story of the first half, and the game swung from we, we were talking about it potentially being twenty eight to three, and you would have logged on and you would have found nothing but the uh, but blank air because we'd have been gone, we'd have, we'd not be watching this anymore. Instead, they were able to stop Michigan repeatedly, scored on a huge fourth down rear right before halftime, and are getting the ball back to start the second half to with a chance to tie it up, and it was looking really blink. So yeah, Tinkerbuck really did a. Uh, he did her job, and uh, thanks everybody for for resurrecting the Tinker Bucks. Totally agree. Uh, job site Johnny, thanks for the five. Appreciate you, Kirk, checking in from Long Island. Appreciate you, my man. If we didn't lose Wisconsin in 2010, could we have beaten Auburn, Oregon? Yes, absolutely. That team was loaded. Uh, we had Terrell. Uh, it's funny because like Terrell had been around for a couple of years, and then you know Cam Newton came in from Blinn and went to Auburn, and he was kind of like a baby version of trail like he wore number two he had the visor the eye black like he was like a generic you know terrell but obviously he turned out to be one of the best players in college football history and that year was as good of a year as i've ever seen a quarterback in college football because he was unbelievably good um so it would have been it would have been tough but i think we had the weapons and the players to beat those guys uh, but i think you know cam was he was he was a, he was a monster that year i mean he went first overall and had a good nfl career won the mvp i mean it's hard to, you can't take that away from him uh, Larry Daniels, thanks for the deuce. Where do we find Scoop merch? We got to do a drop here soon. We haven't done one in probably about a year. Uh, we'll probably do a hat and a hoodie. Um, you know, just throw it out there and put the link out and see if you guys want to want to buy it. But uh, we love doing it. Uh, we love seeing people rep the Scoop gear. I see people wearing it all over the place, and it's fun. We haven't done it in a while, but uh, we'll get back into that. Um, so that'll be super exciting. A Willis, thanks for the five. Napoleon movie did suck. Couldn't have cast a worse actor to play him. Currently watching the Rambo Marathon and listening to y'all. Go Huskies. Nevada, Rambo Marathon over Napoleon. Oh, yeah. E easy. I mean, the Rambo is like the first Rambo, like Rambo First Blood. I mean, that was really good. And then the second one was really good. And then the third one got a little bit more comical. And the fourth one. But, like, Napoleon just sucked the whole way. I it, I disagree a little bit on Joaquin Phoenix. I think Joaquin Phoenix, I, don't, I didn't hate the casting. I just hated the story about it. It's just tramp wife and how he kept going back to her and it's just like like dude how pathetic did they want to make him look and and maybe he really was that way 
but I don't want to hear about that. I want to hear about the war battles and what he was doing and stuff like that. Not that his wife was sleeping with Peter the Great and stuff like that. I mean, she slept with the, like the head of Russia after that, like he had defeated him one time. And she, I mean, like, like what, what the heck? What is she doing? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is uh, wrong? like? Come on, like, to have you like to have a little bit of dignity? Yeah, that's uh, that's funny. Well, at least you saved me three hours of my life by not watching it. Uh, Deborah no. Sobel, thanks for the five. Appreciate you. You're always in here. Thank you for being a part of our crew. I love watching the game this way. I hope we can watch the Buckeyes a few times this way. Good way to learn. Um, uh, we're kicking that around. There's a good chance uh, we'll do a couple games uh, to see how people like it. Again, I think that it'd be really fun to actually watch Ohio State because I think people would want to rewatch it with our commentary during the game. But uh, we'll see where it goes. Again, I think that there's, there's an opportunity there because I think people really want to know what's going on and what players and coaches are thinking uh, as they're doing stuff. John Wick, thank you for the five. How are my old buddies? I appreciate you, brother. Uh, Jimma looks scared as crap. Uh, him and McCarthy are about to melt in the second half. They know they should be up 14. This is going to be a really huge drive. I'm really excited to see it. Um, shout out Tinkerbuck for making it happen. Um, Chris, thanks for the deuce. Let's do Tinkerbuck merch. Well, it's got to do better than the Nevada Buck merch because when I did a Nevada Buck shirt, we sold one. You know, we, sold we, sold one. Like, we sold, we sold the, one. The, yeah, don't, don't be disparaging the Nevada Buck. We did sell one. So we made a lot of money on that. I think we made no money on that. We, we made lost we, we, that. we lost like $300 <laughs> on that because my guy that yeah. prints the shirts, like normally you got to have at least 20 before you can run it and before we can actually make any sort of profit. So I had to buy 19 more shirts because the guy really wanted the, the Nevada Buck shirt. So. And, I, and I was lobbying for that. I'm like, hey, we need to print up like 10,000 of these shirts or something like that. And Kirk's yes. like, hey, these aren't going to sell. And I'm like, no. Print them up, man. We can do that now. Now all these little kids in Kenya are wearing these Nevada Buck shirts, running around, oh, yeah. stuff like that. But yeah, oh, yeah. All, all, all the Zulu, the Zulu queens running around wearing it, yeah, you know, for their wedding dress. They're wearing Nevada <laughs> Buck shirt, <laughs> along with the Michigan National Championship 2024 gear and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, Keith Dennison, thanks for the five. Hey guys, this, oh, this is a great question. I'm gonna let you answer this one, Nevada. How is the podcast schedule going to change postseason? Go ahead, Nevada. Not gonna change. <laughs> not, no not change. Gonna change. No change. No change. Uh, we're, we 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 own the night. Buckeye scoop. We own the night. We're gonna go at night. We're gonna go every night. And there, here's the thing. We were talking about this, and Kirk and I were just kind of going through the stories, and we're like, man, there's always something to talk about. The, the transfer portal is is 365 days a year between you know the fall camp and you know spring football and winter conditioning and summer and second signing day and i mean it's going to be here before you know it there's always going to be something to talk about uh we're going to be there talking about it because look during the off season Kirk and i never lacked for things to talk about and we're like you know we're going to just share this with the board we're going to share this with people in the podcast land we'll see what's going on out there but no there there, there really isn't an off season anymore and um with the 12 team playoff coming next year, there's just so much. I mean, it, it, you guys, I don't think we've really realized how different things are going to be. And Kirk brought it up earlier, but little things like the Big Ten championship game is no longer Purdue. It's not Iowa. It's not Wisconsin. It's you're going to play another big dog. It's one, two in the Big Ten championship game. So it could be Mich Ohio State, Michigan, and then the next week, Ohio State, Michigan. Or it could be. Oregon or Washington or USC or whatever it's going to be. And then a top 12 team, a top four team and a top two team. So you're talking about five games in a row, potentially of just big time ball there during the thing. So, you know, next year is going to be different. This team's uh, I'm telling you, it's going to be the number one team in the country preseason. I'm calling it right now. Um, it will be with the guys that we're returning with the guys that we got. I, I don't think anybody has been more active and more successful in the portal than Ohio State in terms of bringing in key guys, impact guys. And once we do that, we combine, combine that with an incoming class of 20 kids that are enrolling early. And then a returning staff, of, you know, returning nine starters on the number one defense in the country versus, I, I mean, it, it's, it's crazy. So t buckle up for 2024. You know, I, I can't wait. But no, the, uh, the offseason is good. There's, there is no offseason. We're going to just keep on going and uh, just ride it into the 2024 season. Yeah, so there's our answer. Uh, nothing's going to change. We're still going to grind it every night, and it's a blast to do. So we appreciate you guys. Emily Dudley, thanks for the deuce. If you have a question, throw that in the chat. Um, should be getting close to kickoff. I saw the team 
heading out to uh, heading out to the field. So, Bootzilla, you think Oregon might be preseason number one? Could be. Um, I think yeah. If we get Denzel Burke and JT two and Malala back, I think we're going to be in good shot or in good shape. Okay, Emily, you did have a question. I'm going to answer this real quick. Will Devin Brown start over Nolan once Howard is gone? If he is still here, I believe he will. I think this will be really good for him to sit behind uh, behind uh, Will Howard. But, you know, does he want to go somewhere else? Because, again, like right now, most of the seats are taken. You know, most of the teams have picked their quarterback. And, you know, Kyle McCord, who's 11-1 as a starter and has one year left, he ended up at Syracuse. Syracuse is terrible. So, does Devin want to go to a program that's not going to be great um, and kind of gut it out? Or does he want to stay here and wait for a year uh, to potentially be the starter here? So if I was him, I'd stick it out, um, you know, depending on how much he could develop and do the best he can. But, you know, I, I think he's got a lot of upside. He's just he's been snake bit. It's been crazy. Uh, Quintucky, thanks for the five. Ridley Scott sucks and has sucked ever since Gladiator. Nevada, your thoughts on that? You're the movie aficionado. Yeah, it's hard to just... Dis- disagree with that and the funny thing is like uh they were talking about napoleon and, and really scott was you know putting this forward as like being the one that he wins the academy award for and this and that and I was like, how could anybody watch that movie and go yep academy award winner i mean that it, it sucked it was terrible and i mean there's just no way around it it was just a bad movie but and, you know i it was in that industry for a long time people that know me know that and i always the, one of my favorite sayings was you know, nobody sets out to make a bad movie, but a lot of people end up making bad movies. So I think that one looks sounded good on on paper, but once uh, once it got down to the practical side of it, it just wasn't it wasn't well executed. It was a bad story and uh, not not good. Were you surprised when you and your honchos at uh, at your um, entertainment group when Wild Things finished? Were you surprised that it wasn't up for more Academy Awards? <laughs> it was up for one of my own personal Academy Awards. I can tell you that. Like, I mean, come on, man. That that was uh, <laughs> that, that, that. I mean, that I movie, mean, at least I, it's a it's a movie that's at least remembered. You know, I mean, it's at least remembered for you know about ninety seconds of the movie. But you know, eh, at least it's remembered. No, for something. no, my favorite my favorite movie that we made was a movie called I Know What You Did Last Summer, and because that movie cost like eleven million dollars to make, and it grossed like. 250 million worldwide so for dollar for dollar that was about as good as it gets to that business right there but um yeah that that, that was a fun at a fun young cast of uh of you know freddie prince jr and you know a lot of good young you know uh sarah michelle geller and uh, that was a fun movie yeah that's those are but why don't you just make those every time and make all that money yeah just make the hits man that's that's just exactly make, just right? make the hits man just make no, the hits. It's just like the old podcast. What, just make the that's hits. That's what my that's what my housekeeper said. She's like, "Senor, why don't you just make the hits?" I'm like, "You know, I should have yeah. thought about that." But don't make these bad movies like Desperate Measures. Make just make the hits. Yeah, just don't don't make the bombs. You know, just make the ones. Don't make you, the you know, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you know, the ones that are in the theater for like ten days and they get yanked. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, a- AZK, yeah. Appreciate uh, the five. Jeremiah got to regret he didn't sign. Uh, with the U, Reese Poffenbarger just committed to the U. Yeah, they're they're up the creek, man. I mean, it's crazy. That's who they ended up with for quarterback. They went from Greg Ward. Um, yeah, it's but you know when when guys are trying to play the NIL game and you know they don't have the money or they don't want to give the money, then you kind of get stuck with whoever's left. Uh, let me find. All right, second half. We got the second half to start now. Let's see what uh. I mean, they, they were feasting, just throwing those quick little passes of those uncovered slot guys and see if they uh, continue on doing that. Dennis Wilson is now banned, so I appreciate you guys. Again, shout out all of the trolls, and they get a bullet in the head every single time. So <laughs> it's just like BuckeyeScoop.com, we're the only message board that fires subscribers because if people are morons, they get ran. No other site does that. Every other site will take any idiot, any moron, harass members, stupid takes, fight with everybody oh. like Wait, we, so we, just gave, off, we off those guys they but, gave him an interception they what the what was Penix doing interception on the first play there's no way what in the world was that this is one of the worst plays ever I, I don't even know what he's doing like he literally just 
he just just like throwing it. He just throwing it away, and it, and he just throws it. Oh no, that guy's out of bounds. He's out of bounds. Did he catch that? Need to tinker buck. Bad. Uh, no, I think that's a. I think that's a good interception. What a terrible play! What's the worst thing you could possibly do to come out of the game? That. Uh, yeah, I hope that ball bounced on the ground. Let's see if that ball bounced on the ground. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if there's enough to overturn that. But what what kind of play was that by Penix? What are you doing, dude? I mean, is his well, elbow not well, down out, out of bounds? They gave it to him? Yeah, they gave it to him. Huh? Wow. What's the worst I mean, possible wow. thing that happened coming out of halftime? That. I, I mean, I mean, what the, like the first play. Like, what are yeah. you doing? And so so uh, Penny, he's kind of doing that brave limp thing right now. Oh, the guy stepped on uh, his foot. 72 stepped course. on his foot. The brave limp is always my favorite when guys screw up and then they like. Limp yeah, off the well, the guys screw up and you and you do the brave limp thing. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. Oh, oh come on, well, that's, that's, that's that's a great start. Will Johnson pick. Yeah, we've seen, seen that throwing that before. dude. Oh no! Let me take the easy money. The guy's right. One's right there. Yeah. Jesus. I know. Well. I mean, it could be, you know, it could be time to go back to that Rambo marathon again or something like that. You know, oh, the Rambo's God. became increasingly comical as it kind of went along there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he became more of a comic book type of character. But like Rambo First Blood, like the first one, that was a good one. Brian Dennehy in that movie. Oh, of course. We need Tinkerbox yeah, to get rolling here, big time. Yeah, yeah, we do. Oh, that, that, okay, Tinkerbox. Thank you. The power of the procedure penalty right there. There you go. Tinkerbuck bringing the heat. Okay. We, 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 we can do this. We can do this again. We just need 100 likes. We need 100 likes. You have not liked this stream. Yeah. Then we have no it, chance. This is free. This is free. We've got no chance. But if you hit that like button right now, you can save us in this game. Yes. You can save. You can defeat Michigan. It's up to you. The power of the like button. Just hit the like button right now. You can do it. I see the lights going up. I can see I can see Tinkerbuck kind of growing. The little lights growing faster and faster. Is it's it not a light enough, or is we, it like is, is like the Grinch's heart growing? One it of was those? like it, it was it was like a light. I think it was like a light. Okay, the, started, the Tinkerbuck stopped coming right there. She started glow, glowing like she had like ingested uranium or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I saw, I saw like the Sandy Duncan one where it's the, it played Peter Pan, where like the, the chick played Peter Pan. It was was Peter Pan was a, was like a dude, right? It was it was, it was a oh, boy, right? Of course right? it was. Yeah, the, that the, was why like do they have a, like? A, the why do they have a girl play it? I don't understand. Sandy Duncan, what, why would you be Peter Pan? I don't understand. I have no why idea. Why would you have had like that like the dwarf from like Game of Thrones or something? Oh, that, that was a procedure penalty right there. Call that. Yeah, there you go. Tinkerbuck is delivering right now in spades. Second and eighteen, though. Let's go, Tinkerbuck. Let's go. Got Keep hitting Tinkerbuck. that like button. Keep hitting that like button. Come on, Tinkerbuck. Need you, baby. Well, there's your, there's your guy. If you guys have another child, will you name your first, ch your third child, Sharon? That's my question for you, Mr. Barton. Yes, Charmin. Okay. Charmin. Charmin. Oh, Charmin. The penalty. You got to call that. Sharon Barton. I like that. Sharon's a good name too, because it could be a chick's name or it could be a boy's name. Either one. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a longer Sharon. So to speak. Yeah, exactly. You know. Oh, knocked it down again. Okay. Oh, did he drop it? I oh, know they, they knocked it down. Okay, third and eighteen now. I mean, Washington defense starting to step up a little bit here, man. Just don't go, Tinkerbuck. One time. <laughs> Come on, Tim, Tinkerbuck. One time, Tinkerbuck. Just one time for the one time. One time for the one time. JJ just staring his guy down the whole way, just like JJ never deviates. He just stares on the one guy just standing up there. Just no, wait, wait till he gets to the league. He'll be amazing. Oh, I know. Come on, Washington. Third and eighteen. Come on, guys. Oh, double a gap blitz. No. Nope. Oh, with a twisty. Oh, yeah. shot him down. Oh, out of boy. Nice job. I mean, that's about bunch. that's about as good as you can do right there. That's about as good sudden, as you can do. Sudden change and they stopped it. Absolutely. Yeah, 
That's 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 Field really good for the good guys. Yeah, they're starting to figure it out, man. The Washington defense is starting to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that guy, the Michigan kicker, almost shanked the last one. We'll see if he can uh, shank this one. Good job. The guy with the kind of the scrunch face, or is this the, the different guy? It's like they have a, Is that a different guy? Scrunch face was Washington. Oh, uh, scrunch face was Washington guy. Yeah. Okay. I thought that yeah, the scrunch face guy like that was the, the, he was odd looking. This guy's yes. got the, kind of got, got kind of got that big toboggan ski nose or something like that. that. Hey, all things considered, that could have been a lot worse. No, oh, absolutely. Could have been way worse. Panic. Yeah, that could have been way worse. Yeah. Now. Now, how many? How many? You, you were a tight end in high school. How many touchdowns? How many receiving touchdowns did you have as your tight end? Kurt? Oh, like three or four. Not a lot. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's that's, that's really good. That's awesome. Dude, we ran what, the ball every play. It was great. What I was liked your it. What, what was your longest reception? Oh, like twenty yards. I had no range. Oh, did you? Was it like yards after the catch? Did you catch it and just rumble? No, I just I caught it and fell down. <laughs> caught it and get tackled. <laughs> Caught it and died. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's I, brutal. I, would loved, I would have loved to see that. That would have been awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, JJ Smith's all moved in. Um, that's good. Now, now, now is JJ Smith. Like when you're going to pay that kind of money, are you getting into, like a private apartment? Or are you staying in the dorms, or what? What do you? Do? No, he's, he's he's got a free apartment. Okay, he's got a real he's got a really nice apartment. So again, like this is where like the 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 wheat separates from the shaft because like last year, like Innis and Tate showed up and they had sweet apartments, and then Seth Hawkins, who's from SFE, got to stay in the dorms. So these guys all get dorm rooms, but you know, you get a sweet apartment, you ain't going to a dorm room. You know, and honestly, like the best part about the dorm room is like you can. You know, if you're the roommate and then like Brandon Anderson has a really sweet apartment, it's basically like you get your own dorm room, which is great. So, but yeah, it's uh it's a different world once some of these guys get here because they've got bank and they ain't staying in no dorms. Uh Larry Daniels one, thanks for the deuce, Tinker Buck or poor liberally shite. Totally agree. I am uh I'm gonna pour some codeine like I I am like I'm running about a buck oh three fever right now. I can't wait to go <laughs> sleep. But I need some cough syrup and like I need a Z pack and some hot tea, man. I'm I'm being a trooper for you guys. I'm just telling you because I can't leave you guys hanging. Zach Fry, thanks for the five. What do you think the Bears do with Fields? Trade or take Marvin? Well, I think you know, and this is the question of the offseason. I think Justin Fields is good enough to win in the NFL. Um, Caleb Williams is kind of a flake. I don't think he's. I think he's good, but he's got a lot of red flags, in my opinion. Um, and they're not going to take Marvin number one. I can see him. Obviously, they're going to want to trade down and maximize the value. Uh, and they absolutely pillaged the Panthers last year for get, they got two first round picks, DJ Moore. I mean, that was one of the greatest trades of all time for Bryce Young. They got the number one pick this year. They got like a top, you know, ten pick last year. They got like a second round pick. It was insane what they got for that trade. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't think they end up with Marvin unless they trade down to five or six, but you know, what, what do I know? Um, Nevada, would you stick with fields or would you start Caleb Williams and kind of reset the, the roster with a rookie contract? Well, dude, I, we, we talked about this to not you and I talked about it, but I talked about this with a, with a good friend of mine, kind of a draft guy. And I would absolutely trade down if I'm Chicago. Yeah, you, have to. you could, you, you trade down. I mean, you remember they still have their pick on top of Carolina's pick, so yeah. you could you could get Marvin Harrison Jr. You could probably get get a, another first round pick for trading down on top of your first round pick. I I would completely just go that way, and it's not like Justin Fields thing. I mean, did you more had fourteen hundred yards this year or whatever it was? Like like he had a good year. So can you imagine pairing yeah. him with Marvin Harrison Jr. <laughs> And yeah. their defense was playing well. I, I'd add a couple of offensive line, the, the best offensive linemen in the country. Frankly, that was the problem. They just couldn't protect him. If they could have protected him, yeah. I, I think they could have been terrific this year. And I think the Bears are a lot closer than people think. I mean, the Bears' last six, seven games really played well, started investing in their defense, playing some good football. But I, I would not give I, – I, I think starting over 
at the quarterback. Look, look at the, the teams right now in, in, in football and kind of go, who's winning with what quarterbacks and what's doing and where it's, you know, what positions are in terms of doing it. But it's like the 49ers trade three first round picks and get Trey Lance. Oh God. He, he, he busts out and they, they, they win with Brock Purdy. The Eagles are yeah. winning with Jalen Hurts, second round pick. The Cowboys are winning with Dak Prescott, third round pick. You don't need to get a quarterback at the top there. Look at what's happened to Carolina with, with Bryce. I mean, it's like, you don't need they're to dead, do that. They're dead. You, yeah. You don't need you don't need to do that. So if I'm the Bears, I am sticking with Fields. I am no. building around him, and uh, I, I can't even imagine if you if you paired uh, DJ Moore with with Marvin Harrison Jr. How good that team would be. It'd be incredible. Yeah, Cole, 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 Cole Komet's good too. Cole I mean, Komet's really good. Go yeah. go 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 go. Good big hoss. Good job. Good job. Oh, these guys I love. I mean, do they? Uh, finally, there God we go. bless. There we. There Give me another go. fifteen. We need likes for Tinkerbuck for that penalty. The referees are going to decide, decide to call something on Michigan, which is great. Come Francis Plum, thanks for the deuce. Did the 2023 clock rolls it make Trussell Ball great again? Uh, Trussell Ball is always pretty good. You look at the winning percentage. Um, I I think it it helps. You know, you can ground and pound this thing away, and I think that's what these guys are uh, are trying to do. Uh, e Buckeye at 91, appreciate you, brother. Thanks for the five. I hate absolutely hate the fight song. There's nothing I hate more in the universe than the victors. Sounds like evil when they play like the Galactic Empire coming to make you miserable. My skin crawls. I like the Galactic Empire because I'm a I'm a dark side guy, but I do hate Michigan's fight song. I mean, it's like one of those things where I just of all the things I hated growing up, there's nothing I hated more than their fight song. And I hate how when they score, the band like plays quiet when they kick the extra point, and then they start playing it after. Ooh, get on the ground. Good. I mean, Washington's right in this game, man. I'm telling you, they yeah. are right in this game. They're so close. And Michigan, think about what Michigan's done offensively, which has been absolutely nothing. It's like they, you know, sometimes you know that yourself, Kirk. You have some early success, things come real quick, and then all of a sudden you, you feel like it's going to be that game, and then it just stops. And when it stops, it's hard to get that momentum back again. You talk like the 06 Florida game? I'm talking about, yeah, there's been so many games, man. I've, I've just yeah. seen just so many, so many times. When your team loses that momentum, when you, you lose that mojo, yeah. it's just so hard to get it back. Well, you know, like the thing is, is you can get, you know, guys adjust. I mean, this, their coordinator is making, I'm sure, a million, million and a half. So he's going to adjust to what these guys are doing. So, um, you know, did they uh, did they show a commercial yet for NCAA coming back? That's supposed to be the big rumor tonight. I haven't seen it, but I don't know. I've, I've got Nevada has muted himself in the middle of a deep thought. Nice throw. Boot him out of here. Larry Daniels, appreciate you again, brother. Thanks for the deuce. Plans on a future Vegas meetup. Uh, Cruz, no plans yet, dude. I've got a lot going on uh, the season and stuff, so I, I have no plans for any vacation. Um, I've been on vacation forever, and you know we're just grinding right now, but I appreciate that. I'll let you know next time we go out there. Uh, it'll be a blast. Yeah, Karis, that's the, th the thing is the whole team wants the Bears – uh, feel to stay because you don't want to reset um and i think that that's important and i consider that and Justin's a great player i mean he's really a tough guy uh he makes plays when things aren't there if they got a better line around him i mean he could be one of the best players in the league um nice kick all right tied it up grady grady not tied up 20 at least 2013 grady goes the guy with that scrunched up face Let's go. I mean, you have a face like that, up. man. You probably you you probably practice kicking like twenty three hours a day or something like that because like you don't want to go out with people and stuff like that. Oh yeah, you got to wear like the screen mask up to the bar. <laughs> exactly. you know. The Night King mask. Exactly. The Night King mask. Andy L. Uh, super chat. Uh, thanks for the five. Appreciate you, brother. If you have a question, I'll toss it in there. I'll look for it. Ryan Scott. Thanks for the five. Appreciate you. I don't think I've seen Michigan line called for holding this year. I watched their other games. They really get away with a lot and. Wisconsin used to be the king of it. I mean, they're like Wisconsin would hold every play and they'd never get called for it. But Michigan is kind of that now. Like their hands are super wide. Uh, it's brutal. So, you know. Uh, M. DeLuca, thanks for the 10. Thank you guys for the show. Appreciate you, brother. You're in here every day. One of our best regulars. I uh, never missed a show. Grew up in Ohio, St. Ed's grad. That is a great program for football and wrestling. Moved to Alaska years ago and represent Buckeye Pride in the far north. You have the best show by far. Thanks again. Appreciate you, brother. Again, you're a regular. You're in here every night. Um, again, just appreciate you so much uh, for for the comments and the kind words and for tuning in. Because 
I'm telling you, uh, we're almost to 700 likes. Nevada Tinkerbuck is real. Um, we get a stop here. Tinkerbuck might actually come back to live and, um, you know, make me healthy again, which would be great. Uh, well, the only the only way we're going to get a tie is we get 800 likes. We need 800 likes. Have if to. you have not, if you haven't liked this dip, it, it's there. All you got to do is hit the button. It's for free. There's a little thumb there. Just hit the thumb. Just take two seconds. Hit the thumb. Move away from the progressive commercial. Just go over there. Hit the thumb and get us 800 likes. And let's bring Tinkerbuck so we can get over the top. So we can stop kind of you know playing with Michigan and actually defeat them. It's yes. in your hands. So, so critical. So critical. Man, I, I know I talk about this every time, but that, that cheesy gordita box there, the Mountain Dew, and the crunchy tacos, I haven't eaten dinner yet, and I could really go for oh, that. I'm, people... I'm dying right now, and, I, and yeah. I'm sick. Chalupa box. Yeah, that $5 cream, and they're having such a good time, too. Like, they're all they're playing charades. And they're yes. laughing, and they're, they're watching. They're watching. Like they're that. watching. They're watching. They're watching Napoleon. They're watching the Rambo Marathon, and they're having yeah. such a good time. And here we are, stuck watching Michigan. 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 I hate Michigan. 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 Oh, the Taco Bell Live Moss thing there. Uh, the ENC Matsko, thank you uh, for the five. Appreciate you. Sorry if you already uh, covered it or aren't covering it now. What have you guys? JT and Denzel come back. I think they're very, very good, especially Denzel. JT wants a lot of money to come back, but I think he's coming back to earth on what he can actually get. Um, any news on the old Miss kid? As far as I know, he's in the bag, um, as of my source, who I'm texting with. And uh, I think we're going to be. Um, we're going to be in good shape with him. Again, we're, the, we're where he wants to be at, and he wants to be a Buckeye, so it's easy money. Okay. Then we got, we've got to get a stop now. Major. Oh. Oh, talk about hot sideline for Borden. And then we have Holly Jesus. Grove come on up there or something like that. Like, yep. what, what about Kill the Moon? What happened to Molly McGrath? Like, Molly McGrath, and then they put Holly Rowe up there, and you're like, yeah. Oh man, oh, that completely destroys the mood right there. Mm -hmm. And then there's your namesake, Sharon Moore. <coughs> you, guys, you, you really like Sharon. I mean, he's got his guy. He's got his guys coming off the ball, man. I mean, he's got, I don't know if it's all horrible of, or what. He's getting a lot of airtime. Oh yeah, he's probably their next head coach. UM USA flag, uh, dishonorable, disrespectful. Totally agree. I hate them so much. But they're down three point stances, which is nice to see. Um, don't get edged. Don't get edged. Get them down. There's about four or five. One guy has to get a block there and get five yards. I don't think you're allowed to wear an Apple Watch during the game, though. I think that's like an electronic piece of technology that's technically uh, illegal. But Michigan doesn't care about that, obviously. <laughs> I'm like 99.9% .9 sure you're not allowed to wear any sort of electronic device or your phone or any of that. Can you but imagine when they were interviewing him too and they're asking, were you aware that they were stealing signs? Oh, no, I, I didn't know. I wasn't aware that they were no. stealing signs. I had no idea. I didn't even know who that yeah. kind of Italian guy was. Yeah. Why was he standing, standing right next he, to you? He's standing next to you and, and literally calling out the defense every time. Yeah, but you I don't know. Really, I just thought he was really good at it. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Okay, I thought he was really, down. really smart. It's just like he's really smart. We got to get Tinkerbuck going here big time. Major. We're at 763. We need, we need 37 30, more. Yeah. 37 like more. To, if, you get up to, if we get up to 800, we will stop we'll get off the, on this we'll, play. We'll, we'll, we'll get off the field. It's all I down to you see, guys. I, I can't do the counter. So Kirk, We're at 764 right now. Tinkerbuck oh, no. is, is flickering oh, right no. now. Come on. T t Tinkerbuck's flatlining. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we stopped her. Oh, I stopped him. Tinker Let's Buck go, Tinker Buck. Tinker Buck prevailed yep. despite the lack of faith. I think I, I honestly think I think we actually lost the like. That was kind of hilarious. <laughs> we did that. <laughs> Shout out. We we're from okay. We're up to sixty nine now. Okay. Mellow yeah, Tinker. Tinker Buck is how the hell did we come up with Tinker Buck? It was like Tinker. <laughs> we were watching the first the Alabama Michigan game and like we were talking about like Tinker Bell like dying and. How in the one movie they're like clapping and you got to clap really loud for Tinkerbuck to come back. And she's like laying there like dead. Like she's at a Vegas <laughs> pool party for eight hours. 
And then they start like you're know, clapping, and then she starts flickering, and then she gets up. And but we changed it from Tinker Buck to t- or from Tinker Bell to Tinker Buck, so it's got like a Nevada Buck spinoff. So we just have gone with it, and it's working. So let's get it. Got a chance to tie this thing up, man. I'm telling you what. Let's go, Penix. Let's go. Let's go. I feel like they're so close, man. I feel like they're so close. Penix, just stop being arse. We're at 784. Taterbuck, who is uh, the great grandpa of Tinkerbuck. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks for the deuce. Uh, sending 100 likes for Tinkerbuck. Appreciate you, brother. You're always in here. You're the best. <laughs> Taterbuck is on the family tree of Tinkerbuck. So, yeah. Well, this is a movie. This looks like one of those movies. Like, uh, get, is it sh- Samurai? Is this, it, it's a show. It's, it's like a Samurai. A, the, Oh, Shogun. Shogun. Shogun, yeah. Yeah, Shogun. Okay, regional series, but which one's on? That's pretty good. Let's say the, the samurais are serious, man. That's the only only group the Mongols couldn't conquer. They showed up to fight the samurais, and those guys whooped that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I watched that series, that samurai battle for Japan thing, to talk about kind of the history of Japan and the history of the samurais out there, and that that was uh, that was pretty entertaining. Yeah, the samurais. I mean. Genghis Khan conquered like basically all of Asia, but man, they get to the samurais and they got whooped. They got dog walked. So yeah. you know, can't win them all. <laughs> I can't win. I bet. I bet like Genghis Khan probably rolled up on the samurais and then like Roy Hall probably broke Ted Ginn's leg right when the fight started and then they got whooped. Oh uh, god, uh, that's <laughs> so bad. That's so bad. So so true. Yeah. I was like, what's the what's the worst thing we could do right here? Let's break our best player's leg. Yeah. Mm. Did he feel bad? Did he feel bad about that? No, but I was like, why didn't you put him in the figure four? At least get some style points out of it. Get an NIL deal. Put <laughs> him in the scorpion. Like put him in the put him in the scorpion deathlock. You know? And then like, and then like Ted Ted could like crawl over to the ropes and grab the ropes, and then he just like <laughs> shake. He said, "No, no." And like the referee wouldn't see it. <laughs> you got to break the hold. Got to break the hold. And yeah. then the fabulous moolah comes over there and hits him with the, like the loaded fist yeah. or something like that. Like Paul Bear hits him with an urn, and, like explodes in fire. <laughs> Paul, Paul Bear. Paul Bear comes out. Paul Bear comes out like uh, the middle of the ring with the. He's got the urn that's got like the big flashlight in the middle of it. I told you that classy Freddie Blassie spoke to my uh, high school commencement. That was our commencement speaker. It was classy Freddie Blassie. That's pretty classy. Like yeah, isn't that great? I told you he called us yeah. all pencil deck geeks and everything like that. It was awesome. I got a picture with him back then. That was that was. You should have you should have hit him with the big boot and the leg drop. Oh come on, Clay, classy Freddie, <laughs> classy Freddie Blassie. Come on, how great is that? Clay Aders, thanks to the five. Thank you, gentlemen, for being a lifeboat in this turbulent season. We are. Uh, the rest of the beat is kind of like the Titanic, and we're like the lifeboat floating along. As a Cleveland expat in SEC country, Knoxville, Knoxville, sweet. Uh, with scum in laws, I am surrounded. Well, we are here, and we're ready to rock. Is that Connor Stallions? Who's that? Stephen A. Smith with his little jumpsuit on, and, and Jesus Christ, Taylor, Taylor Swift. They got Stephen A.'s like little his little home slice. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Stephen A. Smith. Come on, Penix. Make it easy. Throw it, throw it to Rome, dude. Yeah, talk about Samurais. Right. Let's talk about Rome. I mean, they love this thirty-seven guy. Okay, that's okay. It's five yards. We'll take that. Just, just, just matriculate the ball down the field. Let's get a touchdown. Make it twenty twenty, and let's watch Michigan implode. So Jordan Jeter and Stephen A are all in the same suite. That's amazing. Why would Jordan be in this game? I guess he has nothing else to do. I mean, really, I and mean, that guy's got so much money, and now he sold the the Hornets and made yeah. so much more money on top. Like you get that much money. Like, why would you sell the Hornets though? Because like. It's not like I, he needs I, more money. I, dude, I have no idea why anybody sells a pro sports team. Yeah. But you sell an well, NFL got... team. Like, you just have to be completely insane. Let's go. There you go. Go, go, go. Okay, nice. The little the That's little Tinker Bucks are going crazy in the background. <laughs> little Tinker Bucks. Little oh, yeah. Funky Buck. Little Funky Buck. Little Funky, buck. Little little funky, funky Bucks would be on there screaming. He better not get us demonetized if he starts dropping the F-bomb. Panics goes uh-huh. deep here. You know. Little Funky Buck. He's screaming downstairs. For sure. He comes up and he comes up and hits you with the stone cold stunner through the table. Oh man, let's go, boys! I mean, if Tinker Buck, we're, at eight, we're at eight. eight ten. We got to get to nine hundred oh. to score. Tinker Buck, come on, baby. We need Tinker Buck. Tinker Buck changed the whole game. It's not even. Yeah. It's not even fair. No kidding. We're talking oh, screen down! It fell down. 
Oh, oh God no. bless. Get out of bounds. Oh, good thing that ball. That was for it. Yeah. No, the, it was a screen, but the, the receiver like tripped or got tackled or something. What and this thing, this thing's wide open. He lets the DN go up and it just kills the screen. This thing oh, is like, but are, are, are you allowed to do that? I think so. You're allowed to knock down an eligible receiver like that? Behind the line, I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Because I mean, he, he could be blocking in pass protection. Again, I'm not trying to be argumentative, but... Like, no, I just, no, no, no. It's just interesting. You don't see that happen. You, right you know, I'm just rooting... I'm rooting like crazy. Oh, big hose. Oh, my God. Is he off, man? He's not even close. No. Panics. Come on, dude. Yeah, I mean, he was so I, good against Texas. He was so precise, and now it's like... Now he's just hot trash. These guys grab on every single play. It's crazy. Yeah, no, no, I know. All right, oh, take your buck. We got to convert this one. Let's find we Rome. This. this is big. Oh, he gave the walk like an Egyptian thing. He did, like the little viper. Yep. Come on, Penix. Oh, dropped out. Oh, no. False start left again. Guard, left guard false started again. Turd. Yeah. I blade you thanks to the five. Grady Ghost might have earned the scholarship this year, but damn, he earned that last name his whole life. Ugly. Yeah, that's your boy in about us, the kicker. Big fat yeah. boys. Yeah. These guys should take more penalties. That'd be really good for their outlook. I'm, I mean, how many? I mean, look at the ball, dude. Come on, Tinker Buck. Many... We got to get to 900 for this to go. Just what look at the at? ball. Dude, I mean, they're just grappling with Rome. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> no, they're grabbing them every time. I don't understand. Yeah. They're, so, they're so handsy. When are they going to get called? Never. No. They just determined it's Michigan. To... We're never going to call it. Just go to him. No. Uh, Will Johnson holds him on every single play, and he's following them all over yeah. the field. Yeah. Look, they're bluffing out again. They do it every time. Crib. Throw it. Throw it. Oh, man. God, I hate I hate these throws. They're like it's like this is like what we do on offense, where we throw like the hardest possible, like sideline, high, high, high and away down the sideline. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, look at him grabbing him. No, he's literally got a hold of his. Shoes he like right grabs there. his jersey every time. I know. I mean, what are these guys watching? Jesus. I mean, they grab his shirt. He does it every time. I mean, that's P.I. like all day, every day, like in any version of football, except here, because Michigan gets away with absolutely everything. We're off the kicker. It's punt. Okay, pin it deep. That's good. Keep there you go. Down to the seven. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah, we'll take that. I don't, I don't understand how they don't call P.I. there. God, these guys are ugly. Yeah, they really do have an unattractive bunch of kickers right there. It's like, like they go Michael to recruit Jordan. and they're like, let's recruit the most unattractive people that we can. What is, is Stephen A five foot two? Jesus, look how small he is. Yeah, he what a douche. Small. Douche canoe. Come on, Tinkerbuck. We need it bad now. Promise. Well, yeah, no, man. We One need, time, we Tinkerbuck. Need, we, need, we need a turnover. We need, as, as mm -hmm. Michigan has, has Michigan turned it over yet today? I don't think they have. They need a turnover. Yeah. I don't know. Danny DeVito is good in those Jersey Mike's commercials. I do like those Jersey. Oh Mike's my commercials. god! I'd kill for Jersey Mike's right now. Yeah. Oh my god! I'd kill. I'd kill. I would kill all of my enemies on Earth right now for Jersey Mike's sub. Be great. I, I had I had Jersey Mike's for lunch. I had Jersey Mike's for lunch today. I had, I, had, I had a mini number nine. That was good. I'm I'm not I'm not getting a mini at this point. Of course, no, it's like no, ten o'clock at night. You know, I haven't yeah. eaten all day, and I'm just like sitting here just fasting away. It's great. You, you got to work like DoorDash. Can you just order DoorDash and have some stuff delivered or something like that? Uh, dude, they're closed, man. It's ten. Door, I'm talking about DoorDash. I'm not talking about Jersey Mike's. I'm talking about any place. Yeah. Well, that is one thing that I've, that I've been surprised at is in my times in Columbus is that the the paucity of late night eating places that are open in Columbus. It's, it's, it's trash. 
I mean, it's a college town. How do you not have late night restaurants open? I don't understand. It's trash. It's terrible. But I mean, is it is it literally like like a city ordinance or something like that, or what is it about that? Like, there's got to be a business opportunity for that. Yeah, I mean, you'd think there'd be a place that would stay open and actually have food right now, but I'm, I'm looking right. at options right now, and there's just nothing. It is it is a it is a smoking hole right now. Let me keep you what you get like McDonald's or something like that. Sheets, McDonald's. Sheets uh, isn't, isn't sheets like a like a like a. Gas it's a gas station, station. Like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's that's what Meyer, the grocery store, sheets. I mean, yeah. it is a barren wasteland right now. Yeah. Most of the places are like red, like they're dead. Yeah. So what are your options? You've got McDonald's and sheets. What else? Yep. There's got to be something. Else. I think there's like that's... Wendy's and probably Taco Bell. I imagine. Okay. <sighs> Take your buck of love from southern border in Tucson. Tucson's probably a little cold this time of year. It was beautiful down there. Not an OSU fan, but hate the cheaters. You guys have kept me sane. Appreciate you, brother. As always, we get a lot of people that aren't Ohio State fans that like to watch us because we're hilarious, but we appreciate you. Marcos. Yeah, see, we got Wawa. I don't think we have a Wawa yet. And the big thing is the move, Jeffrey. He knows. He's the OG. On, McCarthy, throw one, have it deflected, intercepted, touchdown, 2020. Come on. Get him down. I mean, they're holding I mean, the amount of holding Michigan's doing is insane. It's literally insane. Like watch 77, watch Keegan. The guy's got the big stupid toilet bowl around his neck. Like he holds that D tackle so bad. It's almost insane. And they get away with it. Like, they, I mean, it's like, it's like they just don't even call it. Has, I mean, has Michigan had a penalty call on them today? I think they had like well, they two. Had, they had that two. Yeah. They had, they had, they had, well, yeah, no. they had that one pass interference call. I mean, they're in the shadow of their goal line. You, you know where they're going. Yeah. They're going to Loveland. They're going to Loveland right now. You know that's where they're going. You have to. Cover cover the tight end. Get him down. Let's go. Okay. All right, we need Let's Tinkerbuck go. here. Tinkerbuck here, here bad. Let's go. Okay. Let's get to 900. We're at 821. We need Tinkerbuck. Oh, we have 34 seconds on the shot clock. We Tinkerbuck, we need you bad. Need Hit that like we button, seven, bad. Yeah, we need 79 likes, that's what we need. And we can't go backwards. Mm -hmm. We don't need any dislikes. We need 79 more likes. We can get us third down and eight. Let's get the, the you evil You got to, yeah, Carrie said, pow, you got to power up Tinkerbuck right now. Get her Let's a Red go. Bull and vodka. Um, Let's go. Get her, just, get her lit up, ready to go. Here we go. Third down and eight. Oh, a little shifty little, in the middle. Little double. Bailing out, a little pressure. twisty. Oh, been, uh, oh, get him down. Oh, no. no. Get, 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 get God get down. damn it. Running quarterback. Oh, so I don't run God. twists. Yeah. So I run in quarterbacks. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get to 900 and JJ McStink oh, gets out of the lane. Why do you not spy him there? Dude, you know oh. he's going to run. He's running for 20 oh, yards. Geez. That's Again, so this bad. is what CJ Stroud would have been nice if he did this in his career other than you know the Georgia game. But like that 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 is a drive killer. It's a, it's it's yeah. just like it, it kills the mentality of the defense that they had it stopped and then he just runs. Yeah. They, they stopped everybody. And look and they look they run him again for another first down. Yeah. Because it's impossible to stop. I hope Ryan Day's watching this. I'm like, dude, no, stop running I mean, your is, offense. This is this is where it's so frustrating with Ryan Day, because it's like as much as I like Ryan Day and I'm much I'm all in on Ryan Day. Like we do offense the hardest way possible. We do. Oh, we're it's, like it's crazy. We're, we're not. We're not going to run the quarterback, and we're not going to. It's just like, like, what is Michigan's in the biggest part? They're they're backed up against the thing. What they can do? Run the quarterback because that's what teams yeah. do. Forty yeah. rushes for first downs. Forty yeah. rushes for first downs. Yeah. And run, running the quarterback doesn't help. I've had people tell me that doesn't make any difference. Um, no, it makes all the difference. Only the dumbest human beings in the world say that. Yeah, the literal dumbest. Totally they say Brady didn't run. Like Brady's the only guy Shit. on the earth that doesn't run. That's it. <laughs> yeah, everybody I, I everybody else it. runs. Tom Brady, Tom, didn't, Tom Brady run. didn't run. It's like, well, Pat Mahomes oh, runs, and so does Josh Allen. So does <laughs> yeah, Jalen what, Hurts. What a, so does every quarterback that makes $50 million, they all run. What a you know. dumb take. That's such a dumb take. That's the Ooh. dumbest thing of all time. <laughs> Tom Brady never run. How much did Tom Brady run? It's like, oh, God. What a stupid take. Come on, Washington. You can do this. We we just need a, we need a mistake, man. Michigan's got to make a mistake. Just some bad yeah. luck. Come on, is that a false start? Huge, great play. Oh, night. Oh, 
I'll get your Dude, helmet you on. Gotta, you got to go out of the game, you idiot, because you lost your helmet. You better buckle your chin strap, you moron. Yeah. You literally have to leave the game when your helmet comes off. Yeah, exactly. It's a big play. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a big play right there. Get him off Wade the Harp, floor, Wade Harper, I like it. That'll be on our bucket skip thing. Oh, the hardest way day. I like that. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Win the hardest way. We never, we, we're never. not allowed to run the quarterback, no matter how open it is. No. Uh, win, win the hardest way day. Come uh -huh. on, boys. Come on. Let's go. Get him down. Come on. Get him down. There we go. Nice. All right, Tinker Buck. Nice. There Warm it go. up, Tinker that, Buck. There's a we're a punting. We're a punting, boys. Let's I mean, go, Michigan, Tinker Buck. Michigan had like 17 in like the first quarter, right? And, and now it's like yeah, the first, first three minutes of the game. Yeah. Let's go, Tinker yeah. Buck. Let's go, yeah, Washington. They're, they're punting right now, boys. They got to be punting. Fourth and five. Twenty probably runs about a four nine forty. Slow. You know, JJ McCarthy. I've been told he runs a four four flat forty. Do you know that? That was the dumbest thing we've ever had on our board, honestly. I mean, we got yeah, some dumb that, stuff that on the board. Really, that, that was really dumb. It's just like, like, no, he doesn't run a 4-4 flat 40. There's Nevada, no we got a ZZM. We got it. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Here Doc. we go. Come Look, we got, a little, we got a little emoji for Tinkerbuck. It's like a little it's like a little fairy with a nut. I love that. <laughs> good, good stuff where it goes on. Tinkerbuck. Here, Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Dak, he's about to lose in the first round again. Oh, I right know. Uh, they're playing the Packers, though. I, I don't think the Packers can beat them. I don't think the Packers can. And I love the Packers, and uh, but I don't think they can beat them. Come on, Penix, you got to be better. Penix, you got to run like McCarthy's been running, dude. You're yeah. not just like this pocket boy. Stop being pocket boy. Yeah. Go win the game, dude. Yeah, let's the rest go. after the game. The, the, the game's right there. Yeah. Come on, Penix. Oh my God. He oh. might have gone to the gentleman's club at halftime, man. He went from being the most accurate quarterback in history and being trash. Yeah. I, I don't know what's going on with him right now, man. These guys were these guys are open too. Yeah. Like, dude, drop it in the bucket. It's right there. It's wide open. That's, a, that's such an easy throw. Yeah. Like, this he is always like a, he's not gonna be a big head. Yeah, he's not gonna be a big time NFL guy. He can't hit those throws. Oh you know, God, that that wasn't even that was like there was nobody you didn't have to drop it in anything. No. It was just like, he could the old, drive that one. I just keep throwing at this white dude. This white dude's good. That's the targeting. Targeting. Ooh, ooh. How's that not targeting? Look at his helmet. I mean, that's targeting. Do they call a single penalty on Michigan ever? <laughs> it's just not targeting. Crown of the helmet. Of course they show it like the fastest replay of all time. Yeah. Are they going to even review that? I don't know what the hell they're doing. I they're going to take the quarter. Out, running out the quarter. I mean, I would, like, show a replay of that. ESPN sucks. They're so trash. <laughs> I know. Jesus. So bad. Like that, yeah. I mean, that kid got killed there, and his helmet was sideways. Like, oh, it's no way that was targeting. Like, I mean, review that time, at every the quarter. Every time Penix checks down to that guy, it's a first down. It's like every time every he time. goes to the slide guy, every time. Yeah. And, yeah, Penix is just uh, – he, he's he's making it tough. Uh, yeah, I, I I I was really on the Penix train after the Texas game, and I, I, he was so yeah. accurate. And he's so bad tonight, and there's still only a touchdown down. The, the, the train just flew right off the cliff, dude. Bad. Yeah. Real bad. I'm watching this submarine commercial right now. Would you ever want to like work on a submarine? No, never. No, I wouldn't need. I wouldn't need. Buildsubmarines.com. I, I, I mean, I'm claustrophobic. Yeah. I don't want to be in no damn submarine. No, that's the thing. I'm claustrophobic. I'm claustrophobic too. I don't think I could like like be in there knowing that I'm like in a tube like that. That would be bad. Yeah, like those guys that went the carbon fiber sub and it just exploded under the pressure. Yeah. Like, in what universe? Say, let, let's do carbon fiber for our sub. The lightest, thinnest yeah. metal known to <laughs> man. Was, yeah, the people that went down there to see down there to see the Titanic dude, like you're gonna go down there and see a bunch of like debris and 
and just like nothing. You're not even so, doing silverware. Cool and there's a painting. No, you, you, and... no, you wish you could see that. You, no, you think you're gonna find like the, the sapphire of the emerald sea and stuff like that. All you yeah. see, like at, at the most, is like some rusting junk, and you have no idea what you're looking at. And like to go down two and a half hours instead, you go down there and the thing blows up and you die. I mean, yeah, that was uh, at least it was. I think it was quick. I think it was mercifully quick. So I don't, I don't think they lingered. I, th I think they went down there. The thing just blew up and they, and they were gone. Oh yeah, that that thing I and mean, that thing was smithereens like instantly. Yeah. You know? oh, look at the guy on the bed on, on the dine how you dine thing at IHG hotels and resorts. Like they had all sorts of room service. They had like cake and sundays and strawberries and food so i bet you give anything for all, any of that stuff right now you're ordering from sheets you're ordering from a freaking gas station right now because you're hungry. <laughs> and, and that guy is eating like chocolate <laughs> strawberries on, on the bench That's oh my awesome. god stop i'm dying yeah so oh the good thing god. about being on the west coast it, it's like only like 7 30 so tonight like i could order like a uh, nice steak right now the, yeah the, the, like the, the world is the world is your oyster for I'm me actually, like the I like like a, I'm thinking about like a lump crab cocktail, like get like a lump crab cocktail, like a big baked potato, some uh, some corn, some cream corn, or maybe some cut chopped corn, and uh, like a New York strip. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, you're gonna be fat enough to join the Ohio State beat. Oh, man, not, if I, <laughs> not, not, not unless I ate that every hour. For every the hour. Next, for the next you did, 50, you did, 50 years. You did and scoop then, eats there. And, and they got my Princess Leia contest. Like their costumes like oh the my Star god, War, Star Wars convention with those guys. Okay, here we go, Penix. Here we go. First and ten. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Come on. All right, there's four. Take oh. that. Here we go. Did he grab the face mask? No. No. They literally will never call a penalty ever. The rest of time. <laughs> All right. It, 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 it is amazing. It is amazing. This crew. Yeah. Where's this crew from? Yeah. Um, probably the SEC, I bet. Yeah, it's probably an SEC crew. Well, well, JJ, look, he's, he's going to cry. Oh, he's, gonna, oh. he's got the. We got a blitz going. coming. We got a blitz coming. The slot guy's coming because the safety's topping him. And yeah. he's blitzing because the whole world can see it. There you go. And they don't pick it up. And they did okay, but it's like, God, you could have done that a lot easier. Yeah. Like, a lot easier. Yeah, they saw it, too. That tackle saw it. He pointed at it. Yeah. I mean, the safety is right over top of the slot, and so the nickel comes right off the edge, and he points yeah, at this guy. Like, I mean. Every every single time. Like, you know any idiot in the universe. I mean. Oh, man. Here we time. go. Here we go. Third and four. Kind of a big play. Come on, Tinker Buck. We need it. Come I mean, on, one's got to do something at some point. Let's go. No. Are you oh, shitting me? Oh. Leave him in Houston. Good God. That's as bad as the guy from Indianapolis the other night. Oh. Why do they no, – you, know you know why these, these, these coaches are absolute morons? Why do you take out your starter to throw it to this dude? Look, it's right in his hands. You, oh. What a jamoke. I mean, it's only the national championship game. No biggie. God. God oh, bless. Gosh. How do you drop that? Too oh, much time man. at the men's club. I, too little time at the men's club. That's right. Why do you let that go? I mean, I mean he was like 30 yards up there. <laughs> I don't know what the Michigan like. It's like the Michigan guy doesn't have faith that he can actually catch it or something like that. Oh, look at JJ! Oh, no, he, he's doing yoga or, or sort of transcendental meditation by this thing. Oh, he, he's, on he's such a competitor. Chi. He's such a competitor. Thanks for the deuce, uh, Chase Brennan. Appreciate you, my man. And he grew up being an Ohio State fan. That's the best part. Diehard Ohio State fan. And Ryan Day told him to kick rocks so he could get Derek McCord. Yikes. It's an ACC crew. I mean, look, 
watching J.J. McCarthy throw, you go back, we have a, a tape on our site of J.J. McCarthy versus Kyle McCord throwing at the Elite 11, like right next to each other, like one throw after another. And there's nothing about J.J. McCarthy that would, I, I, I mean, not, there, there's, there's nothing there to see. Like, I, I, there's no way I would have taken him over McCord. There's no way. And, and frankly, in, in Ryan Day's offense where he doesn't run the quarterback, there's no yeah. way that that would have been a good fit. So it's like, it's not like, he missed. It's just not the type of quarterback that Ryan Day is looking for. And I, I, I've said that for years now, that I think it's the biggest mistake that we've made is that we, we don't run the quarterback. And, and I, I think Ryan Day has seen that. And I think he's talked to Will Howard. Will Howard, that was the first question Will Howard asked him was, will you allow me to run? And he said, yes. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's what we need. We need some big Willie style major. Are you still cruising DoorDash on the thing right now or something like that? I, I always no, tell no, 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 because it's it's, it's I, depressing. I, I, There's nothing to order. It's depressing. I tell, I, I, no, you just go to Sheets and go, order like, oh, some, like God. Some, some, some donuts or something like that. I used, to love, like, I used to love Sheets. So they've got sandwiches, but I mean, it's just like, do I really want to sub at 11 o'clock at night? Probably not. You know. Well, don't, what, what do you have down in your kitchen right now? You can have, you can have the wife. Uh, right just I, get her up. Just, if, if she's sleeping, just call her and say, hey, honey, can you get up and whip me up a little sandwich or something like that right now? Get up, woman. Get rid of one. Woman, I just worked really hard by sitting for three straight hours. I've got my I've got my catheter in, so I don't even have to get up to use the bathroom because people complained last time. So, you know, I'm doing it all for you guys. Uh, can you can you get me to cook a like, what do you mean that can you guys have like a you don't have like some steak in the refrigerator like nice top sirloin or something like that? Hell she could, no. She could, she could run outside and grill it on the grill or something like that. Fire up the we grill. Don't, oh, we don't look, have a look at look at JJ. Look at JJ. He's he doing fun he's doing he's doing feng shui. Oh, look at him. Look at me. He put his shoes. He, one shoe goes there and go oh look at him. Oh and he doesn't even know that people are paying attention to him. He doesn't even know. He's oblivious to it. Look at him. Oh. Who's this guy talking to him? Father time. Oh, J oh, look at him. He's inspired. Oh, JJ, you're the best. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Connor. That's Connor Stallions. That's Connor Stallions. Who he's is this guy? Up, he's dressed up like my, like Robert Downey Jr. did during Tropic Thunder. That is Connor Stallions. I'm not kidding you. That's what it is. We need to stop. Come on, boys. Oh, nope. There you go, Tinker Buck. Oh, th thank you. That that's Tinker good. To go. back right, that, it would have been better if you'd have popped it up in the air and the Washington guy would have picked it up and ran with it or something like that. That would have been even better. But we'll take that. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty wide open right there. Yeah, he was really wide open. Oh, hit him right in the face. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, boys. Second and ten. Get them off the field. Eventually, Van, the dam's going to break. Come on, Washington. Get him down. Get him down. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay. Got a third down. What do we have in likes? What do, what do we need? What's realistic? Okay, we're at 860. We need to get to 940. We're at 30 or 39 away. 860. We're We've we been need 39 likes. For a long time. We, we are not getting the type of support. Tinkerbuck is not getting the type of support. If, if we lose, no. you have nothing oh. to blame but, your, but yourselves right now. T okay? Tinkerbuck is going to be in the trash can Tinker on Friday. Tinkerbuck, Tinkerbuck, Tinkerbuck is dying right now. Tinkerbuck is dying. We need it. They pan, to the they pan to the Washington hotties as they run a zero blitz. Yes. Come on. Okay, Do go. not let him edge you. Jesus Christ. Oh. Don't let him edge you. He fell. Let's go. Tinkerbuck is alive and well. Oh. I work 64. Oh, 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 let's go, boys. Oh, that was good. That was good. Man, Washington's got to get the ball back. They, they've got to break this down at some point. That was a heck of a play. Oh, yeah, seriously. Just... Look at that. Yeah. I mean, that's just a miracle. He smacks him in the Achilles. Just die. Yeah. Fun, oh, and his feet fun, went there. Die fun, 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 boy. Doink. Doink, doink, doink. Yeah, I know exactly. I've got my shoes pointing the other <coughs> direction. This is what I do. 
Nobody even <clears throat> I don't even know if the people are even paying attention to me. No, I know there's 75 cameras like perched right in front of me because I'm an idiot. <laughs> right. exactly. Go do something here. That looked like Ohio State's returning him. Chase Brennan, no, thanks we, for the deuce. Uh, we no, we fair catch every time. We had a fair time, yeah. Uh, and also, Chase Brennan, thanks for the five. Mitch keeps running the 425, also known as Nickel. Uh, why is well she's not attacking it? I think they're trying to. They just keep check down Charlie it, which is good. Uh, Larry Daniels, almost ready to puke. JJ Yoga, thanks for the deuce. Thanks for being an ultra member, as always. Um, yeah, I mean, I would, I would have just kept running the ball. I mean, Michigan's gotten away from the run, and it's like, it's kind of slowed down a little bit. Yeah, I'd say. I mean, remember at one point they were averaging 19 yards a carry? They were averaging like, like 40 yards a carry. No, it was crazy. I mean, it was absolutely yeah. crazy. I mean, Washington yeah, yeah. has absolutely shut them down since they just stoned them. Come on, Tinkerbuck. We're at 880, 20 away. We need it for this drive, guys. Tinkerbuck needs to we be need, alive. We need, we need 20 more likes. So if you're sitting there at home and you're like, Wow, I haven't hit the like button yet. I don't really know how to do it. I want to watch another Devontae Adams Taco Bell commercial, or I can bring Tinkerbuck back to life and win this game. Let's bring this back. I love Devontae Adams. Why would you put him in a Taco Bell commercial? He's probably never eaten Taco Bell in his life. Yeah, He's but, a wide you know, receiver. Yeah, they got him cheap, though. I'm sure Devontae, I mean, Devontae made a lot of money in this commercial. I mean, how many times have you seen this commercial? A ton. Absolutely. A ton. I mean, he he must have just got paid big money for that. Yeah. And it's not like that. That's like probably the only national commercial Devontae Adams has ever done, right? I mean, I'd imagine because I mean, he was in Green Bay. It's not exactly like a huge market. Mr. Rogers or BJ Raji doing the double check or whatever. (laughs) BJ Raji. Yeah. BJ. I love that. Looks like we'll get Zahir Mathis on Wednesday and defensive end. That is good. And we get JT Tumalaw to announce uh, what we all know is that he's returning, which would be really good news. Get Trey yeah. Anderson to return. Get Jordan Hancock to return to one at a time. Get these guys all land in there. Today was Ty yeah. Hamilton's day. And uh, tomorrow, just another brick in the wall. Come on, Penix. And I'm stunned that they, because they've had guys up, but I feel like I feel like Washington. It's not like Michigan's been dominating the line of scrimmage. I feel like Washington's just been self destruct I mean, how many procedure penalties have they had? A ton. It's been crazy. If anybody's within the sound of my voice, and they can bring Kirk a sandwich. Just bring his sandwich over to Kirk's house and just drop it off on his front lawn or something like that. And yes. He will, he will thank you. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll my dogs, my, do- my, my dogs will probably eat it. That'll be the best part. <laughs> we'll, we'll I'll give, come down we'll, after a four-hour we'll, podcast and it'll be laying there dead. <laughs> we'll, give you, we'll give you a shout out. And if it's like a steak sandwich or something like that, then oh, that that we'll, oh, oh, that would be, be one, wondrous. <laughs> right, I mean, there's still there's still twelve minutes left in this game. I thought this game was going to be like a two-hour game the way Michigan was running it early. Oh. They've kind of gotten shut down. Let's go. God bless, dude. Catch it. Catch the ball. These guys oh. suck. They keep spitting on their hands and just like, uh, what are you doing? Let's just, just, just catch, catch it, you ball. moron. Just catch the ball. It's guy. right in your. It's literally right in your hands. There you go. Yeah. You puss. Yeah. Just catch the ball, bulk. Well, I mean, he should throw the ball too. He's running a drag route. Yeah. Throw yeah. it away from the D. Penix, Penix has just been off today, man. Not there. Dime. There's my boy Rome. Little Rome. Is there a penalty? Well, that's the guy. No. What's the penalty? Oh, oh no. The refs are talking, so they're probably going to call yeah. holding on Washington because they said the long. There you yeah. go. There it is. Michigan's held the whole oh, night. Oh, my and, goodness yep. gracious. And he drops a dime right there in 73. Well, you let's, suck. Let's see the Dumb. replay. Let's see the replay. And they have a call to hold on Michigan, the right tackle. Okay. That's a terrible set. I mean, he doesn't even touch him. Oh I mean, how's that a hold? Gracious. He doesn't oh even touch goodness. him. Look at this. I mean, like for a millisecond, but that's not a hold. That is not a hold. I'm sorry. Oh I've held goodness. a million oh. times as an alignment. That's not a hold. That's a terrible and called, call. And they called that. That's what they called. Of course. See, that's little things in the game where it's just like, 
man, that what an overpowered yeah. play right there. Now you're second and twenty. Now it's screen time, and I mean, if you guys block zero, this thing's probably going for sixty yards, but they don't block anybody. God bless. And now it's third and a million, third and fifteen or whatever it is, eighteen. God damn. I mean, that is like that is that's a killer. You can't do that in a national championship game. Yeah, but that call, that call is just brutal. I mean, it's just, like I said, you've been yeah. going the whole game where the referees are going, you know, we're not calling a lot today. We're just not going to call a lot. And then they call that. Yeah. God, that Michigan chick was fat, man. She yeah. was real fat. She had a stomach shirt on. That was real bad. She looked at that girl for that diabetes commercial. She's always dancing around yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I know one thing. She probably ate a bunch of stuff today. Lucky her. <laughs> she probably Spin emptied out. Move. No, I'm sure. Donuts. God damn, man. This is like, this yeah, is killing us yeah. right here. Yeah. God. It's like they were cruising and then they took this terrible penalty and now they got a punt. And, you know, that's I mean, that's a killer. That, that's one of those penalties you'll remember for the rest of your life because you're stupid, you moron. It's your fault, dude. That was, a, that was a terrible set. I mean, that was terrible. That guy, that, that, that white dude, McGovern, is so slow. He'll never beat you around the edge in a million years. In a million years, and you set like that, that's malpractice. That's just stupid. Yeah. Boy, man, Washington's had so many chances. Well, they, and they haven't called a hold on Michigan all day, which is insane. I mean, and this punter yeah. sucks. What was that, a 35 yeah, yard punt? No, well, they have the ball at the 30 yard line. Yard. But Michigan finally put two guys back there so they could catch the ball instead of letting it drop every single time. Michigan has gotten every break in this game. Every possible, oh, it's, it's huge. conceivable break. It's huge. Yeah. I mean, God, I mean, what's frustrating is Michigan's so bad. I mean, they might be the worst team to win the to national ever, To ever win a national title. Yeah, I no, agree. No, I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. All kidding aside, they are the worst team that I've ever seen playing for a national championship, let alone have a chance to win it. I'm, I mean, they're they're legitimately not good. They're not. Their their skill players are below average. McCarthy is below average. Their offensive line's good. The, the, I mean, I, just we, we move the ball so effortly against these guys. It's just like we just stopped ourselves. So no. frustrating. So it's close. trash. Yeah, it is trash. Now, are these dog food commercials making you hungry or anything else like that? Are you so hungry that you're watching that? God bless. I can't. <laughs> I can't even right now. I'm still like 12 minutes of the game. It's like a crawl now. They're just going to throw every single place. The clock never, the clock never runs. Oh, come on. There's got to be something. There's got to be something you can find the uh, uh, late night food. You wouldn't even eat Wendy's right now, like a Wendy's, like the uh, like the pretzel oh, absolutely. bun, pretzel bun baconator. Just order that. Just order that right oh, now. Absolutely. I had to go pick it up though. No, no, I haven't delivered you. It'll be, it'll be waiting for you. And if it comes one during the thing, you can run down there and get it and just start just loading eat up. It, eat it in the middle of the show. <laughs> well, the show, the show will be over because, like, like this game's not going to go to overtime. Or, oh, I guess it could. You could, like, quadruple overtime. <laughs> quadruple overtime. <laughs> yeah. The, I tell you, I'm ordering my steak right now. I'm ordering my steak. I think I'm going to get it medium rare plus. That's what I'm thinking. So isn't that just medium? I, I, you know, like, that's what I always thought. But I don't like, I, I get a little less than that. So I think medium rare plus is a little less than uh, than medium. Because I don't like ordering it medium. That just seems a little too much. But medium rare plus. Get that chop house corn. Maybe like a shrimp cock. Nah, I think I'm going to go to the lump crab cocktail. Lump crab. Yeah, that's so nice. Basically just a nice... Uh, Dressing to deliver like place a, for your crowd. Like a nice, like like a three hundred dollar DoorDash, basically. Nine o'clock oh, at night. Man. No, I'm ordering directly from the Arthur J. That way, we, we cut oh, out yeah. the DoorDash out of that. Cut out the uh, that's right thirty thirty percent cut, man. Can they deliver it? Yeah, for sure. Oh wow! Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Oh, you suck, Washington. Wow, that's so, so frustrating. This is the worst team to ever won a national championship, man. These guys are trash. Yeah. yeah. Their guys are down three points, though. I mean, that right tackle yeah. just got scorched. 
in hell that we didn't call it, of course. No, no, I know exactly. They're a big play. They get nothing happens. They're running. And right their right okay. tackles trash. Yeah, but he's out there. Yeah. You think JJ comes back next year? No chance. No chance. JJ McCarthy is going to go. He's going to be the first one. I mean, look, he's being held. Look at that look, right there. He was being held. His jersey was being held. He was being pulled down, and they don't call it. That's the stuff that just pisses me off. It's like, that's such a big play. Uh, Jack Holiseve in a Cooper talk. Yes, I love their shrimp. They're delicious. Uh, Domino's. I, know, I, just, I don't know if I want to eat all those cards right before bed. I appreciate all these suggestions, guys. These guys score here. Your boy might be heading to the... Heading to the Raptors. There's another first. Putting pop defense. Yep. That hold that hold changed the entire game. Yeah. No, it literally changed the entire game. Yeah. Like and they call it one way, they don't call it the other yeah. way. And it's like it's it's funny how the game can just slide on that, man. Yeah, they were this little drag route, like little levels past there. It's like yeah. free money. My kids out yeah, west think... DoorDash everything, so does Nevada. Yeah, I do. I think I was one of the early adopters of DoorDash. I'm, I'm talking about really super early in terms of DoorDash. And it's I, I, I think it's cheaper than cooking, personally. Oh, yeah. I think eating out is always cheaper than cooking, in my opinion. Well, well, because like there's no wastage, you know. There's no, like, spoilage. No. There's no, you know, yeah. clean up. You're not, you're, you're, not like throwing, you're not throwing stuff out. You're not wasting your time cooking no. it, whatever. No. Yeah. Exactly. Tim, exactly. Uh, Tim67, uh, Buckeye, I appreciate you being a Scoop Ultra member. I agree with the ex bomber. You guys are the best. Thank you so much, my man. Uh, do holding calls not happen because of reputation, in your opinion? Sometimes I just feel like this game has been so impossibly one sided in terms of officiating. And it's funny, is Michigan has more penalty yardage, but they should have about 15 penalties right now. It's terrible. Um, after sanctions charges, uh, Francis Palm, thanks for the deuce. After sanctions charges, nobody's coming back to the UM. I totally agree. It's going to be a barren wasteland. Get them down. This might be it. Well, it was a good run. How big yeah. is the asterisk on the national championship? Well, it's not going to exist. It'll be gone. So, wow. well, Nevada. Well, <laughs> uh, I, mean, I think I think this is as good a time as Anna to as Dandy Don Meredith would say, "You turn out the lights, the party's over." Yeah. And, um, this was fun. We can put an end to this twenty, this wretched twenty twenty three season. And I God recommend bless. everybody just turn off their television and not watch the end of this. So yeah. it's not like it existed. And Kirk, you go get a steak sandwich somewhere. I can't and, wait. Um, it's going to be delicious. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for kicking it with us. Uh, three hours of coverage was a blast. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this content, please leave us a like. Click subscribe. Also click that little alert bell. Uh, it was a fantastic show. Thank you guys for all the love and the super chats. Appreciate you guys so much. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow for all the latest and greatest regarding Ohio State, coaching changes, transfer portal, uh, all of it. So appreciate you guys so much. Again, thank you guys uh, for all of your patronage, for taking care of us, for being a part of this uh, community. It is an absolute blast, and we really love uh, kicking it with you guys. That being said, thank you so much, Buckeye Nation, and thank you, Scoop family. I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. Go Bucks.